they say they bring the fire, they barely open flames, not even smoldering, struggle rappers go away, I throw your tracks away and polish up the inbox, the clean up crew, and this is where your shit stops, come on, the clean up crew, this is where your shit stops, shit stops, come on, Write a rhyme writer who write a flyer The sky riders higher to higher to prior With more punches than prize fighters So fuck a handout, put your hand out Man down a live wire, a psycho hired with fire Michael Myers versus Mike Myers He camped out and ran out when I write on stand out Like highlighters, I pay a bitch to place my slip Yeah, I call her my highlighter Baby, I'm high, where's my lighter? Crazy, I don't care, a fighter Popping so much shit and dropping so much shit I'm tearing diapers, but why would I wear a diaper? Told you, I don't care to type to enter matches And wear whatever matches my pair of nights Bruh, I put the pair on ice, bruh Save for a rainy day Clouds ain't forming for this ain't a brainstorm You ain't seen rainy days The panty brain never no limit Never no snippet Never man made method Man checking the method Don't clinic Get the whole critics Magazine article Them faggots gonna need magic Bean gardens who actually argue You blasphemy or commit blasphemy Catastrophes target you Magazine writers Particles was my magazine cartridge Shoot hard for you But simple for myself Schizophrenic Pick the limo Rent it and jet And hit the mental ward for help Insurance covers all incidentals for myself Get a pencil, use my mental to bend it, order it to melt Origins unknown, but I'ma need orange juice and margin Pour up till I belt you till the floor hits and euphoria is felt They say they bring the fire, they barely open flames Not even smoldering, struggle rappers go away I throw your tracks away and polish up the inbox The clean up crew, and this is where your shit stops Come on the clean up crew, this is where your shit stops. Shit stops. Shit stops. Shit stops. The clean up crew. This is just a fair warning. Stops. We're boring like Levin Alec, you gory of weapons drawn. And we're smoking Cubans like shooting at Gloria Estevan. Morning you set before it's seven in the morning. Bet you're gonna breakfast. This tech gets wrecked. Wake like heaven in a reverend song. You are now witnessing the metamorphosis of metaphors. It's better for this than the letter torch. And kid, I made earth and I gave birth. Then I said abort this kid. But before abortion hit, I let him tore the orphanage. Call up a bitch, they like some more. Like Oliver Twist. Let her polish the dick, then I frolic with Oliver Chicks. Shoot a motherfucking undercover with a motherfucking undercover barrel. Dumb and dumber, Harold, you singing them dumb and dumber carols. I'm too potent, why you motherfucker stare? Give you a new heart like I'm Lara. This is my brother Daryl. This is my other brother Daryl. I run a rare brothel of underwear models that are unaware. Money shared to come in there. Time's about damn time. Now you see the blues. You're stepping on landmines and ballerina shoots. You cowards need a clue. I'm the illest on the mic, of course, minus the life support. Tripe is the white you snort Try it and die your corpse R.I.P. My competition on a mission Watch and listen Either way I leave decay on all your victims The verbal menace Slash herbal chemist Burning spinach That'll make your eyes pop like Popeye When my words are finished Yes, yes It's a cleanup crew I'm Nick Norris Rocky Tare Unorthodox Turn your fucking mic on, boy. Yeah. Turn your mic on, Sam. <laughs> We're back another week, motherfuckers. Yes, Radio Super, iHeartRadio, yeah, yeah. Spreaker, all that good shit. Yeah, we ain't, we we still here on iHeart. We yeah. are surprised now. You can listen to the show like, oh, on it yeah. on iHeart last week. Yeah, so we survived. So um, another week in uh, you know hip hop and fuckery and all that good stuff. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Where we where have we? Let's just go ahead and talk about it, man. You know what? Okay. What do you want to talk about? Right? No, I don't want to talk about it. Let's just talk about. Talk about what, man? No, don't do this. Do not bait me. You, you, no. still, you started off real confident, man. I'm not gonna fucking do it. I'm not gonna do it because I reference it, and then you hear like the uh, the waves of pissed off, like you know, just angry rap responses. Yeah. Not all, no, just the, the small, you like the small ones that are like, oh, you know, so we don't really like what you have to say. You support Dr. Dre and not Donald Trump. This is why you put what's your name in the Trump. You're a punk. This is not eight mile. I do not have to do a great smile a while. You're, you rap about eating volumes and Rhyme things with Walmart's great value. That's how they sound. Yeah, you're talking about the Cowboys, right? The, uh-huh. Like, like the Cowboys what? that that are that are doing disc records against. Yeah. Let yeah. me tell you about. Let me tell you about Eminem. That's He's a, not that's a, a skittle. I like Eminem. 
I don't, and, and I like Donald Trump, and I'm in a pickle. That's literally as bad. Have you guys listened to those? Like, I, like I the hillbilly yeah, responses? Yeah, fucking, yeah, fucking disgusting. Man. I was totally Dude, lost this whole time. Th- th- there's this one guy. His name is like Josh Feuermeister or something. He's like a really <laughs> out- <laughs> seriously, and he's like an outspoken oh, hey. right wing fucking. He's a pastor, and and like when when things go down, he's one of the false flag guys, like uh, Alex Jones and shit. And he's uh, like, hey, he's first like, off, oh, fuck right. Alex Jones. Yeah, man. fuck all those people. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that guy. Like so his his video, like he was proud of himself. He's like. Listen here, Eminem, blah blah blah, and he was like talking like like a rapper talks to another rapper before they start dissing him and shit. <laughs> they and talk bro, to him like was he's like, gotta watch the video. Yeah, it's so pathetic, <laughs> dude. It was they're so like, bad. They talk to him like they're like they know the dude. Like yeah, I had to do it, Eminem. And I, I was a fan. I was a fan. And and but they'll, they'll use like certain lingo to prove that they like listen to hip hop, which yeah. makes it feel even more offensive and it's like you know it, it was dope but it wasn't that hot M falling off 46 was, year old I don't like Eminem because he talks about Trump and the veterans yo you know what's crazy though there, <laughs> there was other videos bro there, there was like people that literally went out and bought like the Slim Shady LP like the original they, they one burn it like and, the fucking and they're stomping it into like the, the LeBron like, jersey the LeBron jersey M yeah y- y'all are some it's, trash ass dudes like for re- this is disgusting I thought it was funny because them got their money you know what I mean yeah like, no, he, no he, he, he that shit was still like shrink wrapped they, like, they, they thought it right he's <laughs> Yeah, he, he he's he's some around, he's around the way, dude. Man, he's not fucking with y'all backwards closet <laughs> racist hyper no. privileged ass wives. Oh, like, that's like some Eminem's working, man. <laughs> Monster Energy, fucking super hyped up truck having ass. You know it's just misconception. They they it, it it just proves that it just really reaffirms the ignorant racist mind state of this country because they feel like, oh he he looks just like me i'm gonna be able to relate to whatever exactly. no, you 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 cannot if you really listen to like your white americas and your moshes and he's not really with your shit not, at all not at all and has not at all. it is not ever really been yeah, I feel like so it's open enough for you to kind of get that perception very easily Within like the first three songs, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's but, why this is even funnier. But but and and I'm not playing devil's advocate on this one. Don't but I'm saying like like from a white suburban perspective, and he's bitching about like teachers and school and like all this other shit. Like you know, in, in the early days when he's talking right. about how like he always used to get beat up by a bully and all this stuff. I think that's a shit they relate to. You know what I mean? That that's like the Eminem they know is like the the I do drugs and I do this and I do that and like you know what I'm saying? They don't see the culture behind Eminem where. Yeah. Whereas, like, when I hear Eminem, I'm hearing, like, sound bombing Eminem. I'm hearing, yeah, exactly. like, you know like, what I'm saying? Like, like, the like MC. Ruckus, Ruckus Records. Yeah. You know. He, he was in a complete, he was literally the only white group yeah. in the group that went Purple Hills. Like, like fucking but Black these people Earth. aren't very perspective. These people aren't very perceptive, though. You know what I mean? Like, things can be right they, under they, their nose. Exactly. They, they, they pick and it. choose. Exactly. He's right. Pick and choose with what they want to be perceptive towards. Fuck yeah, Kid Rock. Seriously. While, while we're on the record, like, oh, you, you shouldn't be opinionated. Fuck Kid Rock. Yo, did Kid Rock say anything about it? Well, he probably he did. He probably, like, I don't even want to talk about Kid Rock. Fuck, fuck that guy. He yeah. Backpedaling, he was never Not with even. the program. Yeah, he he never was, was never with the program. I was like 11 and I saw a picture of him with the the, the fake ass, like, the high top. kid high top. Uh, and I was like, this guy's, <laughs> this guy's full of shit. Uh, and, um, and then you analyze his political uh, moves and endorsements over like the past like 17 years and it doesn't really hit you because you got to recognize it from Jump Street. Like, yeah, you, you really are a ridiculous piece of shit. And th- I'm not surprised that you have a Confederate flag on your goddamn stage. What's, what's up with that? Because he's not even Southern. <laughs> <laughs> he's from, from Detroit. He's from Detroit. He's from Detroit. Yeah. You're yeah. from yeah. there. Canada's that way, <laughs> sir. Right. Like, <laughs> stay away, buddy. Hop, skip. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, he. I guess he is an advocate for the, the hate, not heritage nonsense. 
And you know, one one thing about hip hop is when it's authentic, you exude authenticity. And there's there's no way that you can perpetrate being real. And yeah. that that's it's it's even it's even um, like a slogan. You know, keep it real, keep it one hundred. It's something that you can easily perceive. And since we knew that he wasn't really with the culture from Jump Street, he said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna throw on a rebel flag and you know." And, Get a couple little people on stage and a bunch of strippers and True. fucking set off bombs yeah. and drive up in a tank. I'm gonna be as America as possible. God, he's, he's like he's like a walking baconator. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> he really is. He really Larry is the cable guy of rap. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, even he. Have you ever like watched the Larry the Cable Guy interview? He does not talk like that. Yeah. What's up no. with all this pandering? Oh, if I were like a big, like if I were like a, a, a stereotypical bigot, like white American cat, like I, I would really be offended by your Larry the Cable guys and your <laughs> your Kid Rocks. That, that's yeah, that's a, that's a small, see, that's a small thin line they're running right there. They're smart enough to know that they are not. They're not smart. They're smart enough to know that they're not part of it. <laughs> but they're, they're they don't. The they're not listening there. to this show, anyways. And, no. and anybody who would support the show. Has nothing to do with that, so we're all we're all throwing rocks. Yo, you just yeah. pissed off Cletus down in fucking. <laughs> hey, Where, I don't even listen know, like, to you, Rocky Tuscaloosa. <laughs> you used to be hot like a Taki. <laughs> you had a shot like Saki. This is that's oh literally how ro- like shitty. Yeah. If right. you think he knows what Saki is, you just gave that man a lot of credit. <laughs> I tell you what, Bruh, Yo, sh- so shout out to M and. The entire shady camp for just saying, you know what? Yeah, everybody Probably. was out there. Royce was out there too. I know yeah, Royce was out there. there. Griselda was yeah. out there. It was, you know, it was, it was a beautiful scene. Oh, and the whips were splendiferously beautiful. I just have to put that out there. Yeah, so, definitely. But yeah, I've, I've heard, I've heard a lot too, though, based upon his delivery. What do y'all think of that? I loved it, dude. I, I think it was concise. I like it because it was concise. Yeah, I, I thought, you know. When Eminem does like the spoken wordy stuff, you know, like the the, the more poetic stuff, people don't like that because they want like Eminem to be like, you know what I'm saying? The demographic he's talking to, though. Yeah. not really going to get the complexities of like the lyricism that we know him for. Yeah. You know, so he had to slap them in the face. Here is exactly Yo, the, how I feel. The line is drawn, literally. Yeah. Here you go. You know what line hit me more than even the I'm drawing the line line? What's up? Was when he said, uh, our president doesn't like his war heroes captured. Cause that shit, like that, that's something that you can hang that's over Trump right like a month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's here. Yeah. yeah, and and like, how are you gonna like, especially during a time when people are talking about I'm an American patriot? Like, we don't bending your knee is disrespecting our veterans and our troops. And John McCain was captured for seven years with two gone. broken arms, and like yeah. he was tortured. Yeah, yeah. And Trump, that's, that's, that's crazy. Asterisk. Like, if anybody knows like a little bit of uh, American history, like knows that. Um, John McCain's family is literally a military family. His father and grandfather, and you like pick the wrong person to take a jab at yeah. from you know the a point of somebody who has never served, and then attacking someone who is renowned for being a part of that family. He literally has battleships named after him, or like yeah. you know, crazy. So good job, Trump. Uh, but yeah, Eminem. Uh, you know, he represented hip hop, and um, you know, there's a lot of individuals who didn't necessarily understand that because, um, you know, the media is going to try and portray it in like, this, you know, the whole divisive, uh, racial, you know, um, just the way that they would racially spin it and use like the whole white savior connotation in order to rile up that division and things of that nature. But he's he's a person who's a part of the culture, who un- who understands it and is speaking to the demographic that's going to. Uh, be more likely to listen to him because yeah. that's how America works. You have, um, you know, YG, which are your fuck Donald Trumps, and that's been spinning for a year. And the rest of America just didn't seem to catch it. And I wonder why. So, you know, he stepped out there and he slapped him in the face, told him that you don't really have to res- respect my music or buy it anymore, but I'm on some real shit. And there we go. And that's, that's all I'm going to say about it. Yeah. Shout out to my man Chuck Creekmer for eloquently explaining this on MSNBC. The I saw day. that. And, and I and I will say, you shared that the other day, right? Like, I sure did. Man. Yeah. Shout out to all hip hop, too. Heck yeah. And, uh, Hearing the dude that like the host, he's like a Jake Tapper type on MSNBC. <laughs> he's like Eminem bodied, and he's like what? What? He used he like said, three euphemisms. He was like he bodied him, and then he, he destroyed said, him. What did he say? He There's um, him. yeah, that's what he said. Um, he said you uh, you got bodied, uh, you got destroyed, or 
you've been ethered. <laughs> ethered. Yeah. I was like, yo. You know, that, that just proves that people, that hip hop is everywhere, you know, and, and it's, it's so universal, which is why it's important for um, artists to stand out there and let their um, allegiance be known that they stand with the people. This is about the culture at the end of the day, and it's totally backwards and, and vulture to um, appropriate the culture and not speak about, you know, you know, obviously not speak about the people who benefit from it directly, those who live and dream through the music and the, the five elements um, that shape their lives. And I said five because knowledge is one of them. Yes. Get into it. Dude, knowledge is probably one of the most important aspects of hip hop. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You got to definitely have the knowledge to do anything and pick up from the processes or the predecessors. So straight up, man. What was your question on uh, what do you mean the delivery? Just the overall? Oh, I just meant the overall delivery of him coming onto the track, delivering it. I understand. I definitely feel what Nick and Rock was saying as far as he actually was delivering a message more so than actually spitting some shit. I could take it like that. What you like? You had to take on it. I think he was trying to do both. You know what I mean? And it was funny because it definitely reminded. It was like that. That was I was telling people that wasn't a freestyle rap. That was a slam poem. Like I was seriously yeah. expecting like most deaf to like walk out at the end and be like, "Give it up for Eminem, everybody." That was like some deaf poetry <laughs> jam shit. But I mean, I think he was still definitely spitting in like parts. So I thought it took him a minute to get going though. Like I'm not gonna lie, like I was. I, I, it, it took me like until at least 40, 40 seconds in or so before I really got into it. When he came out talking about awfully hot coffee pots and stuff like that, I was like, "Where, where are you going with this, Sam?" But then he kind of then he brought it around in the middle of like, the parts you were talking about with like the talking about McCain and uh, some of the yeah, other stuff yeah, he was yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's it's always hard for me hearing Eminem just because like I like I always hold him in like such a high, high, high regard. You know what I mean? To yeah. where it's like obviously it's hard to like live up to your like legendary status but in terms of like the message and what he did and the uh and the platform and everything yeah i thought it was i thought it was so dumb that some people were saying oh well it doesn't matter because he did it on bet everyone he should have done it on you know white people's platform and one of my friends commented with a great point like oh yeah you know I'm sure he hit up Good Morning America. Like, hey, excuse me, can I come yeah. through and <laughs> deliver my, you know, profanity laced tirade against the president? Oh no, no, I can't do that. Yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. Let me, let me let me see if BET's cool with it. But yeah, no, people were finding some dumbass reasons to complain about it. The only complaints I had was just there were a couple lines. Hip hop is never satisfied. Me, that was man. it. It's never satisfied. You know, you 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 give them a double album, they say they want more. You 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 hit them with weekly songs, they want more. You disappear for six months, they ask, hey, did he fall off? Um, so there, I really feel it's like the like the detox thing, you know, like whether or not Dre ever puts it out or whatever, like people will like it, but they want more, you know. That's why it's just like fuck it, just artistic integrity, live for your live for your own artistic direction. I felt it was more of a tactical thing from a lyrical, you know, from a state of lyricism, you know, just just understanding the type of people who are going to gravitate towards that. So if you hit them with the gave a list of Milano syphilis model but gonorrhea shit, yeah. like, you know, it's just. Right over people's heads. Didn't he do yep. some of that so, in the middle, though? Um, but but it was warmed up like towards it. He, he warmed up towards it. Down, but it was like, I mean, he was he was rapping. You know what I mean? He wasn't just like, you know. Yeah, he slowed it down a little bit, though, so people could oh, catch it. Oh, he slowed it. No, yeah, he, he, yeah that, that's why it was so, like, slam poem Because it was, like, fast in some parts, and he would slow it down. There were the long pauses. Yeah. I was like, it was, yeah, I was, like, really reminded me of Some uh, acapella shit is going there. Man, it makes you like acapella. Yeah, Turn off the beat. Turn off the that, beat. That Def Jam shit back in the day. Um, yeah. Did y'all watch the other freestyles? The, oh, uh, yeah. You like, know what's funny? My, we were talking about. No one else uh, got shine. My, we were talking about Boogie last week. Uh, and I didn't even know that he was signed to Eminem. Yeah. He, yeah, was, man, he was over at the freestyle, too. Yeah, 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 yeah he was yeah, there. Yeah. I didn't realize until I saw CA that. CA all day holding it down, artist. man. Yeah. B- Boogie from Compton, man. That's, that's, dope. that's dope. That dude is dope, too. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, you put me on to him, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you said. You were the one who put me on to him originally. So then I, that's where that's when I was talking to Salute about it last week. But yeah, I didn't realize until they cipher that he was signed to Eminem like that. The only people I knew who Eminem's label was a uh, Griselda, right? Yeah. Now. Eminem owns like a really nice little zone of hip hop. Like yeah. yeah. He's got a good he's got a good thing going. And honestly, to me, um, in the past when, when he was doing things with other artists and this and that, there was always like one some more things, but right now it's like it's fucking dope. He's got a dope squad. I mean, yeah, Slaughterhouse yeah. is still like a rhino. They haven't put something out in a minute, but they're still like I mean, all he even, even, even man. They don't need to do shit. Individually, they don't need to do still, shit. Like, affiliated with uh, with Shady, right? So I mean, if he still has them and then he has Griselda, that chopping block. Uh, you remember the chopping block? Boogie shit? Kid. Mm-mm. 
Yeah. Chop a block? What? On uh, Royce's uh, bar exam for it. Oh, see, I ain't even checked out the bar exam for it. Oh, man. Like, man, wasn't that your homework last what week? What the fuck? Are you serious, I think bro? That was homework. It. <clears throat> Don't you rap? That's pretty ironic based on the Yo, f- <laughs> find some shit from bar exam while we're waiting. Like that. I'm disappointed, sir. And that yeah. I, it was another thing we were talking about last week <laughs> that I saw be. come around was on the uh, top, on uh, the top like college charts that uh, Rocky was on. They had that. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, with Nolan. Yeah, no, that was the track. Shout Nolan and Ninja, Rocky. man. Yeah, that was. Uh, I wasn't like super familiar with Nolan and Ninja, so I was saying like he's, he seems like he's pretty underground. You know what I'm saying? So My man, Dart. Royce will like hop on that and just slaughter a track. But man, his first on that that uh, Nolan the Ninja track was fucking insane. Yeah, without a doubt. What else y'all listening to this week? We've been talking about music for a while. I've been listening to I've been He's listening to Makami a lot. Job. You Ooh. know what I mean? Makami. Okay. From uh he was like formerly in uh Griselta. He's still like an affiliate of theirs. Yeah, yeah. But uh man, his style is just like super, super crazy. Like he's one of my f- He's like my favorite rapper that I've listened to in like the past uh, past couple years, probably since I got into like Rock Marciano, honestly. Isn't this a, this is an interesting, exciting time for lyricism? God damn it! What, what happened? Like we just woke up and we're the in crowd again. It's so. awesome. It's, a, it's, a, it's a you know what? But, but Rocky, you know that, and and also in Orthodox too, and probably it's, it's about we've to get been even predicting better. it for like. For it's like about to get two, even better. Exactly. Even better. Like, you know Rocky knows. And it's about to get even better. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, like 2017, I mean, I could easily put, like, I could put together, like, a top 25 for, like, albums of the year. And I could not. In previous years, like, I haven't even really been watching for, like, new releases like that. Because there's, like, so much old stuff that you can listen to that you still haven't heard. But this year, it's like, I've really been, like, checking for everything. And there's, like, been at least 20, 25 albums that have been, like, Without a doubt. solid as fuck. Hmm. But yeah, Mike has did put y'all out, check like, out several that? albums this year. Like he's put out like probably five. They're like really hard to get to because a lot most of his albums they like, he sells them for like a hundred dollars and shit, like oh, physical yeah. only and shit. That's but awesome. I mean, you More can you, you can end up. Uh, I mean, you, you can people you can catch leaks of them and stuff like that. Like they get passed around. But man, his stuff is like it's seriously incredible. Did y'all check out Nick Grant shit yet? Who? Did y'all check out Nick, Nick Grant, Grant from yet? Atlanta. Uh, Southern, like um, South Carolina, I believe. South Carolina, yeah. I, I, you know, heard, I heard the y'all, ball, y'all check I him out. I, I brought him up last week, and I think the week before that. I, I'm not familiar with him. Advocate you know, for this brother, right here, man. Yeah, I'm gonna what? find it's Grant, right? Nick Grant. I'm gonna see if I can get that. Shit. Play Chopper Block. We've been talking for like 15 minutes. Oh no, I will. Okay. I will in one second. Just keep talking for like another. Uh, talking, talking. Wait, <laughs> no, no. So, um. I, I, I fully support this Return to the Pool joint by Nick Grant. That that shit is phenomenal. I hate like ninety five percent of people who claim they can spit. Y'all, it's trash. Nick is Nick is dope. At least within our generation, I would say. Like, there's just a lot of trash ass rapidity rapidity rap. Like, you know, rapid ass niggas. Is who are you some of your well favorite equipped. spitters of like this generation or like active right now? And when I say of, like of this generation, let's talk like people that have like come out like recently, not like your Roy, not your veterans that are still active. Yeah, no, no like, veterans. Like, yeah, yeah. Like people under thirty, let's say. That's not fair. Oh yeah, no, that's I'm not quite fair. We got a couple 30. other cats, so we could put like you know your Conways, your Bennies, that type of thing. Let's say just people that have. This just really excluded anybody we talked past, about. Like, five Shady years or like, so. Yeah. So we, we already know we, we we like them. Okay, we, you we like them. Like, okay, we so like we'll them. include that whole camp. We we already like them. Let's got you for sure. So who um, else you got, man? Uh, let's see. Like I said, Nick uh, Locksmith is. I think he's. He, He's more seasoned, but I'm gonna throw him in there anyway. I can throw locksmith in there because yeah, there's people are still sleeping on lock, so I'm gonna throw lock in there, man. And how, how long um, has lock been doing? The first time I saw lock, he was opening for Merce like a minute ago, five or six years ago. But like, I mean, um, I mean, that's still relatively like he, new to me. He, you know what I mean? Well, he was at, at least he's, he's at least been having like a high level notoriety since like '09 when he put out that one joint. Yo, and um, he was doing the battles on uh, like even on before, MTV yeah, like the, series, yeah. yeah he was doing the battles, so it's like he's basically like a 2000s, 2010, like he's a new yeah. millennium artist. I would, yeah, I get that, yeah, like twenty. Well, we, we still won't get it, though, because people are. Sleeping. Oh, absolutely, like twenty ten is like I, I got a pretty, you know, I'm giving a broad connotation of like this generation, like anyone from like who really got like active in the past, like you know, Man, this, ten this, years this, or so. This is, this is difficult. I I'll go across the pond and say Bugsy Malone. Bugsy Malone, that sounds familiar. Where, he's, say, he's from England? Uh, he's from, uh, yeah, he's from Manchester. Manchester, I would say, 
You heard P- of P Money from out there? Have you heard of uh, Melon and Nine? I've only oh just hell yeah out. because of the Rock Marciano joint, right? Uh, well yeah, he's also featured on the new uh, Makami album. Oh word! Yeah, on like yeah. the first track, he's like the second verse on the album. But yeah, he's P- crazy. He's like a British Nas. Like he's nuts with it. I've only heard like three tracks from him, yeah. but he's so dope. Like I love his uh, his gritty style. But yeah, the track he has with Rock is dope. The track he has with uh, Makami is dope. I gotta like delve into like his uh, his uh, solo stuff. A uh, fashion. Fashion. I'm not, I never got like super into Fashion oh, like Sean? that. Is he like a big spitter or is he more of like yeah, a song yeah, type man. dude? I mean, he, no, he, he, he's versatile. That's why you know he's on like mass, right? I really so, like uh, uh, I really like Concept Jackson. Have you that heard nigga. of him? Who? Davies. Davies is that Davies. Oh, Davies. I've been hearing about Davies. Yeah. Da- Davies nigga. will make make your auntie just go ahead. Just make just go ahead and get it. Get out there and throw the hands a couple times. Where, where's he from? Oh, um, man, he's from, uh, he from no, he's no, no, uptown. I, yeah, he uptown. He Harlem. Up in Harlem. Oh, yeah, where? Yeah, so yeah. does he does he sound like he's from Harlem? Or oh, he's he sound straight Harlem. Like he sounds yeah, super. So he's oh, he 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 carries that that big L, that big L tradition. Essentially, Harlem night. Yeah, the shit he got Harlem with Nas. Nah, shit, shit he got with Nas. Like so, with who? Nas. Oh, he's got stuff with Nas. He signed. So, Nas. all right, we're gonna play Chopping Black so I can just prove my point here. Sorry, right. word. And then we'll talk about some more other artists. We'll play some new artists and acquaint our our listenership with that. Yeah, because I ain't heard this Royce neither. Go ahead. <laughs> Fucking up, dog. Uh, Rap niggas back on the chopping block Come out that house, back to your mom and your papa spot Back to the county, back to three hots and a hostile cop Come out them colossal rocks, back to your fossil watch My life is foul, sometimes I wish I could write this down To keep your wife from screaming out, Jesus Christ, she can fight this out While she receiving pipe from the nicest, my mic is right as owl My mind deep is mining for diamonds, I raise my guy for brow I'm five minutes from perfect timing, I'm like a price is down A high roll in Cairo, like I'm China and Tiger Chow Might have fucked one of you silver men this wifey but I can't fight you cuz you might adjust my might is touch I can't believe I just sat back and told that lie I put this tech back and give you a gold black eye black. If I give a nigga a shine and consider this shit designer the slaughter militant rhymes hold up My nigga knots on the beat something sneaker heads usually leaving the box on the feet hold up that's right, rappers back on the chopping block. Either factors or papa docs. Back to your proper spot. We are not friends, we just connected. Not the dot. Stomp you till you feel like you living in Waka Flocka Sock. Aka Box. That's why niggas opting not. Money wide in my pocket, mocking that hot some rock me not. I philosophize. Search your solid, some shit so timeless, it should be fossilized. Y'all just lie, y'all just falsify, y'all should be ostracized. Y'all should not be allowed to run alongside of my whip with the ostrich eye. Come out your house without your pride. A coward dies a thousand deaths, tells a thousand lies. You see them lame. Tell them that I'm contracted A killer on the powder high Game 7, LeBron clapping I'll have your spinal column Out of your body Right by you and your bodyguard Looking like designer and cotty fries Retire or apologize Or die you looking right in the fire Trying to be hot as me Or trying to see eye to eye Obviously honesty's not your policy I'm two seconds from smacking Somebody face hard as hell and I know that he listening, but the way Shorty Neck is positioning while she's spitting in the hole of my dick makes that other pussy not worth it. I put my foot in your ass with all my old verses. It's like my sole purpose is giving my soul's purpose. I don't start, but I'll finish you with a earth snap. Everybody I turned into ashes, believe they earned that. Skip rap, let's talk real people. To this day, I die laughing with niggas who really kill people. Mad gloves and empties that will conceal diesel. Black snub that emptied until they seal freeze you. Dice game with the rear and lobbies where they never mop the pee up. Turn that MOP up. A hey, night moth praying that they ain't mopping me up. I'm up top getting mopped from me up. Mama Mia. Now as far as the boss barbarian, I'm barbarian. He man, hand a barbera action figure. Arm stiffer than Shaw Marion when he ball carrying. Oh man, we in slaughter mode. Paul Rosenberg, Paul Bearers and them. Who'd be left if the social media era died? Shit, I blew checks before I was verified. I know the trade that did beats before the trade that did beats. Bloggers will be on my meat if detox leak. Rap niggas back on the chopping block. Kill them before they body rot. I use their body parts to paint a Basquiat. Really, I'm saving you. The label's raping you. Transforming your anus like an Autobot. Ass fucking a cosmonaut. You probably like it, but keeping it low key. Bottom lock. You hit rock bottom and go get your bottom rock. I'm just trying to stop you like my father was trying to stop me. Then it's condom pop. Crooked was born to defeat the eyes a lot. I really don't understand why these imposters are popular. I'm confused like seeing my Jewish homie rocking a swastika at the during Hanukkah. Instead of rocking his yarmulke. Or Stevie Wonder. Gawking at Rihanna's exotic, erotic body through the wrong side of some top dollar binoculars. It's obvious, somebody gotta be mocking us. None giving, I'm out of fucks. Uh, I've been 
been on another level since I came into the industry. Still the illest bit and getting rid of powder puffs. You cowards are out of luck. You howards know how to duck. 40 caliber loud as fuck, but now it's tough. What? Rap niggas back on the chopping block. Give this bitch the biz. Marky, I beat box a lot. She just want a confidant. Her man want a problem stop. His days will be numbered like a calendar. That's the caveat. Any given Thursday, you gon' get with the church play. Holy organs, I mean it in the worst way. With the llama, I'm a farmer. I'm outstanding in my field. My skill is a dead giveaway, if you will. Now that's wordplay. I'm from the era of gang culture and crack smoke. I rap dope, cause that was an escape for poor black folk. Tupac told us all America eats his babies. Since I've been in a Mercedes. My ladies relate to that quote Upset veins popping out of her neck She give me mad throat She a head doctor minus the lab coat And when it come to being an incredible spitter My nigga, I'm Eminem's negative picture Black goat Yeah, nice rap though. niggas back on the chopping block Same goal when niggas was bumping Scott LaRock Same goal, low niggas swear you're shock and jock Screaming was popping out, red bean cock and shot With that said, no proceeding can be lethal When it can be on sight before a nigga even see you That's right by a dash off and we laugh I changed up for the future My mask was off in the past I heard your album All sound like filler to me So why I'm asking how they iller than me It's getting hot, you can feel the degrees I've been as real as could be Different me, same song, right to Tiller agrees Who you know is an uncharted team Parted with lean and hit parks and bark in a dream And step to the Carter regime And watch Carhartt jeans Hard as the scene was on part of going bar to some bars The bar king Beg for your pardoning Your bother some bar schemes Matter of fact, who the fuck Fuck, you know it's hard and heen Say the gang broke up and shit, it wasn't a game Fuck a verse when it's family, it's just running your veins, Joey Another cat from our generation. Shout out to JID. Shout out to Earth Gang. Let's go. Clean up crew. Clean up crew. Clean up crew. Let them from every side of the spectrum. Hannibal Lecter, Lecter, body part bone collector. Nosy ass hoes get punched in the septum. That's part of the woes for throwing soft like Epson. Part of my bros kinda off the rocker and steps. Don't step stupid or you get slept stupid. East side of the root, zone six vet. Showing respect a nigga forever in debt, but don't forget it. Anybody wanna see him, I can make him a believe at your neck like Gillette. Get you and that nigga next to ya. And present time, they saying that I'm the next nigga. Whoa, whoa, that kinda Sounds like a death trap. Can't see the flow. I'm elevated with the steps at. James Bond line. James Harden with the step back. No D. Niggas playing foul with the text at. That's cool. Where the 30 round with the text at. Better get back. Better get you a jetpack. Hey, shoot with the ref at. Hey, shoot at your head fake. They leaving them stank like Pepe Le Pew. They just put a hole in this pepe. I go with the check at. Majilla Gorilla. They kill a nigga for a thriller. They feeling now cool. Keep moving. I want me a nigga. They taking out. Breaking down. Face down. As far as these rappers, man, these words couldn't hurt a nigga. For all these rappers, I can count on the ninja turtle finger who really is fucking with the kid that is yet. I am loud that is mid. I'm a pound that's a smidge. I'm a stout and stout, strong, war ready, resilient. Guess the Lord put me in position just to kill niggas, a warrior. But words used is my spear, my sword, my fear, my Lord. My chance is void if I do it for myself and don't get back to the lawyer. Then. Unemployed, then. I'm my boys. Okay, let's really make some noise in here. Okay. Under pressure, smoking pressure. Walking in no direction Chalk it up to the devil For fucking with my perspective Too young To be a witness But old enough for the lesson Too young Got a chucker to fuck With the chief inspector I bleed just like your favorites I shit just like the angels Oh shit I feel a change in the shift And niggas thinking like Look I got the jug I must say it's quite the finagle Get rich and make some babies Just with it and willing jaders But lately I've been blocked up Lately I've been struggling With ways to get my stock up Me and Venus working on new videos To block busting City shows and pop up and really though, I feel as though it's no bitch I could not fuck Niggas make hard and act hard for no Oscar Boy, you just Leonardo Born in the life you had to learn to be part of Still no deal, still whipping the Mars Shit. up But fuck yeah. Niggas ain't seen you, Venus Shit, like ain't seen me so many nights at the bottom, swore I was E.T. My mama beat me, my fucking degree. 
I chose both pills. My thoughts 3D. And often I probably come off so off the DB that a little nigga like me gotta keep at least two or three BPs in the blunt there off a of GP as the rain pops off a of Lee Street. And the pain pops me another one to the brain. I let the strain do what you can. I know it's hard out trying to reach me. I'm battling addiction. I'm peeping premonitions. I'm clutching on my last dollars. I'm stretching common sense. A pressure point in people. So I question my existence. Be assessing my involvement. Second guessing my deliverance. Lord, to seek you take the wheel. I'm flying in the young. Out of luck. Out of hope to fuck up. So motherfucker time limit. I'ma take what's my nigga. Ha, now elevate my status. Two Gucci baggers. Glue to my apparatus. Just pussy harassers Me and Siri moving Siri So that shit don't matter And yes, them things gon' flash If you want new act up Now elevate my stances Do who she bag us Blue to my apparatus Pussy harassers Me and Siri moving Siri So that shit don't matter And yes, them things gon' flash If you want new act up Yo, I, I don't know if we could technically do this, but we're going to do it anyways. So, K Slay has his show. Shout out to the legend, K Slay. Drama King. And, like, one of my bucket lists is to, like, rap and just have him say, damn, in the background because you're a motherfucking legend. But we're going to steal your feed and play Locksmith shit because this is incredible and it's the cleanup crew. And there's, like, literally no rules and regulations to what we do. And at least we get a cease and desist and or kicked off of iHeart. So, uh, yeah, let's play this Locksmith shit when he bodied it on K Slate. Let's go. Cleanup crew. I, I chose something. You try, I hope you did cheers. That's locksmith. <laughs> I know. Remember, I know. Hit, let's, let's hear what you're going to put on. What no, we got? No weirdo shit. What we got? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. K yeah. Slay. Yeah. Locksmith yeah. Lofty Goals. Check it out. Look. Allow me to paraphrase the apparent phase I pedal toward The space between chasing my dreams and what I'll settle for Every new tier of my career is more clear Focus on my core and keep these executives on a tether cord I said it for a reason, mind you People speculate, but to myself is the only label I'm signed to And I don't feel the need to proceed, I'm reserved hardly Do all the work and receive proceeds from a third party? That's absurd, sorry, I just prefer to be heard, bar me Rap is signed and disappear, commandeer a search party Search far beyond the farce that you fraudulently falsify The false guy you fabricate and the faith that you toss aside I assault your pride, calling a lie like what's untrue They rapping with such uncouth, they been in like hut one two No telling just what some do We shun artists and praise social media starlets No judging, I probably fuck one too This is here, this is now now, this is how we are viewed. We cop shoes before food, cause our values are skewed. We spin bread to get bread. It's in bread. We've been bred. We've been fed and misled. We duck shots to misled. What this said? I'm trying to paint it clear as possible. Some people are roadblocks. I had to steer those obstacles. I would not let it swerve me like the clergy to the flock or the distorted plot. They try to smear this gospel through. My lyric and vocal expression has never been questioned. I know what it's worth. You cannot define. I try to confine what is in the side. I try to pervert. But if it's this lame, I will disclaim with a disdain from a disdain saying his name in a dismay. I will display showing dismay but on this day my total intention total to totem you hold for suspension i'm engrossed in my own convictions i know that my foes are stricken with jealousy and contingency stock on my timeline but make sure they never mention me lyrically there's no comparing i how come you don't collab more lot in three words niggas is terrified i terrorize any rapper in any issue fuck a tastemaker cut off his tongue and tell him to wish you rappers use big words but don't be saying much to overcompensate for the music they had to rush instead of creative ways to convey what they feel as such they try to overcompensate through they lyrics and that's a crutch Touching your notepad You're so mad that you pretend So you spit the most far out shit That you can pin But when you try to sound smart Without substance in your art You're just as bad as the swagged out rappers That you condemn Then a fan once wrote We sick of gimmick see You gotta be controversial And diss them for empathy But if I only become worthy By giving you controversy Then in reality The only real gimmick is me I don't need a sales pitch From some executive with a list Trying to teach me how to tweet Or consult in my statis I've been at this thing For so long with practice I can practically do a show anywhere on the Atlas If you at this nigga, but I believe you at risk Of being physically shunned, I become what I had this I used to criticize others for lack of lyrical depth Now I realize it's more than one way to earn your respect They said I was slept on, I kept on I painted the picture you sketched on I feel like these rappers are so full of gas And they swallowed a glass full of Tecron Respect gone, so you hustle for lots of loot I'd rather be known as unknown than be known as a prostitute Look, would you rather be a whore or a slave? Would you rather be ignored or betrayed? 
Would you rather be gathered amongst cadavers covered in lime and forced to redefine whatever Lord you praise? That's the promise that they give and expect you to choose between the less of two evils and hopes to confuse. The mad sheep where they bathe in their own fecal, consuming the residue of revenue from the folks they abused. Now let's define who folks is Folks are me and you in the lower bracket where most live That don't give a shit that morality's in fatigue Only imagery created by corporations and showbiz And whether you know this and focus Whoever the foe is and foe this You try to invoke which can never be noticed So note this and put it in bold print The minute you go in They try to establish that you was a savage The moment you want to expose this If I follow a trend and try to pretend once I essentially shoot myself for a fee One thing that I've learned in the last 10 months my only true competition is me. One minute they praise you, next minute they haze you. Either you underground or you a sellout joke. Cause there's never been a rapper with my lyrical talent that has proven he can equally balance between both. I revoke any label or category you dealing with. People need boxes and other people to fill them with. Pass me off as one or the other instead of building with. That's the ignorance that I turn around and kill them with. That I turn around and steal them with Word on the street, my nigga, is that you been a bitch You want a revolution, let's see What better place to start with K-Slay and me That's how we do it, Lock it goes, man, I'm out of here 888-J45, Street Sweeper Radio I always, I told y'all this nigga Locksmith here I don't give a fuck It comes to this shit, niggas got yo. Uh, We're gonna go ahead and move on to another individual from our generation Who's making some goddamn moves right now These dude, dudes, I'm a fan, I'm a fan of his art uh, y'all know him as Davies. Oh. Shout out to Davies, Mass Appeal, Nasty. Uh, it's it's another, another one that we like over here to clean up crew. Let's get it going. 80s babies, let's go. We gotta get it. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. They hated Esco. They hated Escobar. Hated Escobar. Hated Escobar. I'm still here. here. Davies, talk that talk. talk that Streets talk. need that. Uh, uh, NYC, uh, LA. Uh, Chicago, right. Detroit, uh, the whole world. Let's get it. I had a basic plan, get out the projects and never look back. Could still smell the aroma from when my uncle would cook crack. One conversation between homies, better yet brothers, that used to spend the night with each other. They moms was best friends. One name was Anthony, the hood called the man live. Kept his pistol on him, so he bought a bigger pin size. He got a little colder the moment he watched his man die. That was ten years ago. Baby face wishing that his beard would grow. Now he throw his set up anyway, go. He's just a product of his environment Told me he'd rather die than never go to Rikers again Did a bit, his celly was blood, he studied 5% Came home like let niggas see me, I'll never ride with 10 Corey was his right hand man, his mother up north She was busting checks with the wrong nigga He pops in, he's in, he just want him some strong liquor Lose the attitude, he miserable For years he tried to get a liquor too Mom's begging he finish school, but nonsense he getting to Aunt met Corey when they was kids with innocence Aunt Needed his dad around cause that nigga was militant Corey found a older pass so cash they could triple it, double it Stack it all, Corey ain't never wanna spend Ant was blowing money fast, big meeting when he shot Flashy nigga body wrapped in diamonds, necklace in the watch They hated Jesus, hated Malcolm, hated Martin they gonna hate. Eight niggas living in the two bedroom apartment No lights up in the crib, I guess I came up out the darkness Mood change when I spark it, new range now I park it they hated Jesus, hated Malcolm, hated Martin. They gonna hate eight niggas living in the two bedroom apartment. Right. No lights up in the crib, I guess I came up out the darkness. Mood change when I spark it, new range, now I park it. And Corey set up a trap. Fiends in and out of that and out. No man stocking cap They robbed him but he got it back. back Six in the morning with baggies on him Was the way of life Regular. Streets to teach you quick Ain't nothing free Pay the price hey. Eviction notice in the kitchen Your bitches stay the night right Corey had the sour and Ain't fuck with Yola. Yola Got kicked out his mom's crib She found a couple boulders Rock. Locked up with killers up north He rubbed a couple shoulders you know? Corey told Ain't on the V out The block was changing Ain't Change told Corey Be grateful Freedom's amazing what? Three and a half like bitch and stayed in drama, he was light skinned outside before you niggas was typing. Exactly. No MySpace, Corey and Ant had butter rocking. Rock. The other young niggas from the block just let her watch him. Oh, Couple it. haters, but nothing major. They knew the streets. Niggas called Corey, made him take off that new Felipe. Felipe. Corey took it on the chin. He wasn't new to beef. Now killers kill you for talking, all you gotta do is speak. That's a man down. Damn. Ant told Corey had a fam ram. Fam. And keep on shitting on niggas until your pants brown. Ugh. They hustle. Too low, so much evidence that can't fail. Corey got nervous whenever they spun that fan round. 
They snatched him and he talked about the way he got it. Rat. Broke the code, I was snitching, it ain't no way around no it. Way. They hated Jesus, hated Malcolm, hated Martin. They hate Eight it. niggas living in the two bedroom apartment. Right. No lights up in the crib, I guess I came up out the darkness. Mood change when I spark it, new range, now I park it. <laughs> They hated Jesus, hated Malcolm, hated Martin. They gonna hate Eight it. niggas living in the two bedroom apartment. Right. No lights up in the crib, I guess I came up out the darkness. Right. Mood change when I spark it. New range, now I park it. Hey, yo, East. It's your man, Nas Esco. Keep doing what you do. Peace be on to you, my young brother, young king. Radio Super. Boy, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. 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 Boy, yeah. Is your house big? Is your car nice? Is your girl fine? Fuck all night. Is you well paid? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clean up crew. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Then Staples talk that shit. How to work long? Is your buzz right? Do the trap jump? Got your hair right, boy, you're right. Boy, you're right, you're right, 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 you're right. Pretty woman wanna slit the wrist. Pretty woman wanna be a rich man's bitch. Pretty woman want a couple kids. Pretty woman want a new ass, new lips. Pretty woman wanna push your bins. Come correct and she won't let you in. Coming through the check, she gets it in. Diamonds on your neck is then pretend. Boy, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. 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 Boy, yeah. Pop till it's vacant, pop till it wrist pop, pop till it's shaking, pop like four on the floor, I've been in rotation, no allegation, popular demand, I understand my name, it's only for conversation, New York nigga be like dead ass, LA nigga be like on the dead homies, I was off the porch like FedEx, 211 got bread on me. K dot twat like the side dice, bro like fried rice and pump rubber strip, uh temporary pimp, nah, I don't remember them. Just canary yellow gym, jumping at the fucking gym, uh swing like new day, day and I ride dirty. Uh, paid like two damn away, retire early. Uh, fade like shadow, with stallion and cattle. A bitch's decision for you is narrow, collision, the money, your fame, the pharaoh, the physic, the chemist, the lame, collateral for Kendrick, whenever exchange, compatible for riches, for more to gain. I said nigga, yeah, right, I don't fair fight, but I bear fight, nigga for my next road kill for the headlight, hanging on my last road kills for the highlight. Bye bye. Boy, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. 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 Boy, yeah, right, yeah, did you know? This is so stupid, but I've been I've been working on my health, and like last week, um, I messed up and I drank milk, or I didn't drink milk. I ate something with milk in it for the first yeah, time in like months, and it hurt. Man. I told so, you, that. I, dude. Told so you so, so like experience. I've been on a strict all water, like I'll drink like almond milk, my cereal and stuff. But something that I found out yesterday, or like maybe two days ago, is pumpkin seeds. One handful of pumpkin seeds is ten grams of protein. What? Did you know that? Yeah, pumpkin seeds are actually really high in protein. Yeah, and, and like I, I've been taking the more um, holistic approach to my my daily diet. You know, just I had several eye surgeries for those like listening uh, on the you know listening to our show right now. Kind of took me out of the game for about almost two years, man. Like health deteriorated, gained uh, gained a bunch of weight and everything, and you know I just. I finally got approved, so I've just been working all that nonsense off. You know, get back in there. Hell yeah! Don't throwing the weights around, getting the cardio up. If you're an artist, if you're a performing artist, you need to have cardio. 
I'm not gonna knock you if you want to. You know, if you, you have the green life going on, you still need a balance. Um, you, know, you still need a balanced cardio in your life because it, it increases your lung capacity and increases your energy. It makes your performances that much better. There's no way that I can emphasize this uh, harder and uh, harder than what I am right now. Um, Absolutely. Like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's important, man. It's, it's important. It, it's, it's really serious to take care of your health. I mean, especially those who are on the road. I mean, even if you're outside of the realm that we subscribe to, you know, just from a mental health standpoint, like exercising three times, three days, uh, three days out of your work week and whatnot, it, it, it does a remarkable change towards, uh, it enacts a remarkable change towards your 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 mental health and. Um, yeah, it's it's everything. I'm running out of words, dude. It's it's everything. Like literally, <laughs> really, ever since I it, can't advocate it hard. I, I don't think human beings are supposed to drink dairy past the age of like six or months really or at some all. shit. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. breast milk is about it, and then we're supposed to not be on it because, and and I might this might be psychosomatic. This could be like placebo effect or whatever. But ever since I cut dairy out of my life, like I feel like uh, like more excited. I have more energy. Like. Milk literally like bogs me down. That lactic and, acid, man. No, yeah, yeah exactly. It's yeah. not designed for your body. Tired I've heard and people, like, yeah, I've heard people do it, like it, it affects them on like psychological levels. Like it's crazy. Like I know, uh, I know my man Michael. He uh, he used to like wait. He's been vegan for like thirty years now or something yeah. like that. That's he says he's like the most. To him. He's like the most like chilled out, like relaxed, laid back, nice guy. And he says before he was vegan, he was like really like aggressive and like got into fights all the time like when he's like about my age and yeah. shit you know what I mean but uh yeah and he says that uh yeah one day he just stopped smoking cigarettes and went vegan and using that would really put somebody on edge to cut all that out at once but apparently he just he just went like full hippie after that and just became That's dope. yeah so I don't, it, it's crazy I mean, I'm not gonna lie I don't do any of that like I eat meat I eat da- I eat and drink dairy and all that I've never had it like you know I've never really felt like really negative effects like that, but it. But when you, when you cut it out, I promise when you cut it out because yeah, I, 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 I cut know. out pork for for years, and then um, there's one instance where my friend had uh, cooked some green chili, and I had ingested it like uh, a large portion, you know, akin to like a few bites, and I guess I was hungry at the time, and I was just scarfing it down, and I realized what I was eating, and um, or I'm sorry, no, that was a different time when I realized it, it happened twice. Um, I I actually. I started coming out with symptoms of food poisoning. My body had um, my body had to reacclimate. It has to reacclimate to the type of food that you you put inside your system. So there, are, you know, the chemicals that yeah. we had become accustomed to over the years of uh, when we were weird, we're eating this, the, we're, we had that normal diet that everybody subscribes to. Um, so you said you were vegan for years, and then you ate pork, and then no, I, I was just or you were you were, you didn't eat pork for years, pork, and then you ate pork, pork and it fucked you up. Yeah, I know right, definitely. Yeah, if you don't eat something poisoning. for years, it'll yeah, it'll yeah. fuck you up if you like eat it yeah, for like introduce it the wrong way. Yeah, yeah food don't even like don't even smell like meats. Just don't even smell appealing to me anymore, bro. Well, when did you stop eating meat? Just a year ago. Just a year ago. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. I like food too much. You know what I mean? Your body notices it, right? When I feel so much better. Like Nick said, I have a. Basically, 95 percent of the liquids that I that I take in is just pure water. There may yeah. be times I may add a little juice, I may, um, but but then you um, dilute it with water. But when you cut it out, like I actually juiced for uh, for a couple weeks, for about a week or so, um, and once you once you start to drink things that have been processed you immediately notice it it's like a, a spike no it's definitely like a, it's a huge sugar spike like my girlfriend says um juiced for about three weeks and like she she i think it was like uh like a sandwich from the store or something like that put her out for like a day, yeah. an entire day fingers she swollen and everything yeah what is that so that's when you have a, a juice based diet and it's not just like going to the store and getting naked juice it's literally um process, uh, putting uh, food and like vegetables and fruit so it's like smoothies pro- processors not necessarily a smoothie but literal juice like so, the magic bullet style like yeah, where you just yeah. mix it up and it becomes like a but juice we, we have this uh, gigantic juicer and whatnot so we just spend like three that's hours tight. making juices and, and that's like, all you eat and all yeah that's no, that's, no that's solid all, it's like you're in the hospital no, almost. no solids that's yeah. crazy so and then of course you would uh, supplement the uh, minerals and things that you're missing from eating uh, solid having a solid based diet but I remember like she had like, um, like a sandwich or something that was obviously processed took her out for like a day or so um, it's it's really amazing um, the effects 
that these types of food have on your body, especially when you cut them out and then jump back in for you know, like an evening, like a cheat day or what have you. Man. So, uh, yeah, and, and you know what got me, and I was thinking about it too when you told, when you were saying that the other day how you had, had had some Wendy's and how you may possibly become fatal. <laughs> yeah, it, it it really yeah I, I I can't even lie I was wildly egregiously lazy, and I just decided you know what fuck it four for four I haven't had this in a while this is a good idea it really was it um, so like. Yeah. That's your body with like any so anything though, really. You know, what I mean, like Especially if you don't drink foods that's real, like. But if you don't drink alcohol food. for a while and then you drink alcohol, you're gonna get super fucked yeah, up. If you don't smoke weed for a while and then you smoke oh, weed, you're yeah, gonna get super fucked up. You well, know what I mean? I, so I it's like any time your body night. ain't. What you say? I had a Michelada last night. Last night, that shit put me out. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like, like I can't drink light, those things. Yeah. Anytime light, wait, no, no, no. It. We made it. We didn't go to like buy Clamato from. Oh yeah, uh, you didn't do like the Budweiser, like, like Chilada from the store. Dude, I'm, from, I'm from so San Diego. Gross. I live in yeah. Phoenix. If I buy one of those, I might as well just move to Maine or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Call Taco Bell authentic Mexican cuisine. Clamato. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what I was saying though, I ain't even mean to throw you just like under the bus there. Like, no, nah, I don't like, care. I did it. I, I don't do it anymore. Well, what I was about to say, I mean the Wendy shit. Oh um, yeah. Well. But what I was, uh, <laughs> what I was saying though, is I seen some shit on the doctors. Like, y'all ever seen that show, The Doctors? No, what is this about? Yo, it's, it's, the it's, it's literally a daytime show called The Doctor. Sometimes it's on oh. when you go to the dentist or whatever. It's like literally daytime television. But it's like four doctors talking about I am afraid of daytime do. TV. Keep on. <laughs> Yo, but they were talking about this this dude who fuck around for whatever reason. He left a McDonald's sandwich in his in his fucking pocket. And he kept it there. In his pocket. In his, in his pocket. pocket. In, in his, his pocket. pocket. Who the fuck? All right, he's pocket. got problems to begin with right, right. there. Hey, <laughs> fuck around, though. I really can't say anything. I have left a Taco Bell burrito in my pocket for a week, but that's beyond the pack. That's how? For a week? Hey, didn't it smell like something? It after did not. Like so couple, that's going to be my Bro, wash, wash your clothes, man. Like, that's that's the first thing. A burrito. Wash your pants. You say bro. a packet? Like a sauce no, packet or a burrito? <laughs> you said like, like a, a packet burrito. was a bean burrito. <laughs> no. What I, I, number no. three, <laughs> what bean and cheese. <laughs> what I was I saying, though, is a three in my pocket. Hold on. Anyway, to, back to the point. Back to the point. No, talk about the burrito. I've accepted the bean burrito. I was high, nigga. I was high. <laughs> but yeah, the motherfucker, he probably was as high as me, left it in his in his in his uh in his closet. But he left that shit in there and apparently he like took it to like storage or whatever and kept it there for like a couple years apparently. Yeah. The fucking bun, all that shit decomposes, fungi, what have you. The patty is perfectly intact. Nothing's fucked with it, nothing decomposed. It's the fucking preservatives on it kept it good. We're talking yeah. about a burger. And that's what you're putting inside years. your stomach, and that's, that's what, what your body yeah. is exactly. telling itself to break break down and digest. Exactly. It's adding those that bullshit those bullshit cells to your bullshit ass body. Zero transplants. This this <laughs> disgusting. It's disgu don't do it. Don't play yourself. You want to jump in every now and then. You, you know, you don't get paid till Friday. You have a dollar and 72 cents. Not really going to judge. If this is part of your daily routine, then you might as well just plank on the I-10 and wait for the nearest thing to take you to the oblivion because you're obviously expediting that process by eating that garbage processed food. What's way worse, though, is the, is the parents. Right? We just you know, lost one a thing potential you, sponsor. <laughs> it's one thing when, like, you know, you're doing it to yourself. You know, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but it's like the thing is there are people that get raised that way. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and uh, when, when right. you get old, you got to realize, but it's like when you're like eight years old or whatever, like you don't know. Like if your, pa no, your family's gross. taking yeah. you to McDonald's exactly. three bro, times bro, a week, you don't know. Check it out, dude. I'm, I'm from the 80s and 90s where yeah. healthy was go -Gurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Yes, like, yes. Like, yes Flintstones vitamins. Everything was Milk like. mustaches. Does a body good. Exactly. Exactly. So everything is like package like oh toaster strudels you know it's an alternative to pop tarts but it's Tis not necessarily honey nut cheerios is a part of a balanced breakfast and it's like the worst shit ever <laughs> actually it's the most i love honey nut cheerios like the real shit okay uh, not like even, okay shit. i'm sorry but frosted flakes frosted flakes frosted so flakes is sugar cheerios was lying for pop tarts bro Yo, just hit up Pop Trader Tarts, Joe's man. for all your knockoff cartoon. There we go. There's our sponsor. Gonna be Trader Joe's holla. We need to get that Trader <laughs> Joe's sponsor, goddammit. That's what I want. I will yo. definitely take a Trader Joe's sponsor. Be Straight up, up, bro. We were Respect. talking about that the other day. We're saying, yo, man. They, they, they ain't all over the place. If you're near Trader Joe's, is, you know, like probably all of us is like 30 minutes away or something like that. I got make, one make right the around trip. the corner. Okay, right? I'm lucky. from Southern Nick's California. Lucky. Those shits are a staple of the community. Okay, yeah. word. Well, like me and Salou, we probably live like 30 minutes away from the nearest one. You make the trip, goddamn. Shout out to my people in the South who have never seen a Trader 
Trader Joe's. <laughs> yo, what, what I, I put Godly <laughs> onto that back in Atlanta because we drove by one in Atlanta. I'm like, yo, what you know about that motherfucker? He's like, I've never been in one. I'm like, that need to fucking change, yo. South is different, guys. <laughs> like, uh, Trader Joe's, we promise we will dumb down our par- percentage of profanity by like 27% as as we get on a weekly basis, on average, if you sponsor us. All they have down. to do is feed us every Monday, like bring, oh, in, boom, bring in a tray of food. Or we'll even go pick it up. I'll no, go pick not, it up myself. No, 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 they have to pay us. Like, what the fuck? Oh, like money too? Yeah, I mean... Uh, I already spent a lot of money. What? This, so. Pay back. Yeah, it might be more <laughs> beneficial. They just hook us so up on reimburse. the food. They give It'll us be more. Like you know what I mean? We'll take a retweet. Works. We'll take one retweet. <laughs> we are really getting petty now. <laughs> no, 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 I'll food. take a Trader Joe's repeat. How yeah, many? no, I need some more. I need some mandarin chicken in this bitch. I just ate shit last night. I'm going. I'm going on Twitter right now. I want to know how many followers Trader Joe's has. Yeah, we really, we really like went down, lowered. Our no, not, there's nothing low about Trader Joe's except for the prices. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm bombing that one. <laughs> um, so there's tra- there's there's a there's a Trader Joe's list, Trader Joe's best. Trader Joe's rant and rave. There's there's a Trader Joe's Trader Joe's, Joe's rant and rave. I think that's where we need to go. That's yeah, what we're doing right now. <laughs> Trader Joe's tweet. insider. That's where we need a tweet from. That's the Twitter design for us. They already set it up for us. Yo, I'm oh, on their wait. website right now. <laughs> and uh, like last week when I was there, I bought their pumpkin o's. I'm not a fan of pumpkin stuff. You may think so because my previous mention right, pumpkin of pumpkin seeds. seeds. But these pumpkin o's are the they're like Cheerios but pumpkin flavored. Pumpkin O's. I don't think Nick they Norris have like an actual Twitter. Every, everything, yeah. you, everything you can want there, like your, your, your honey O, your honey nut O's, your frosted flakes, all that type of stuff. They got like you know the natural alternatives to all that. And for my libertarians, man, you're not even spending it on a big corporate corporation. No, it's Trader Joe's. Independent, independent. Yeah, shout out to Winco too. So we'll, we'll take one from Winco. Self-employed, baby. Oh, oh Winco's the more likely Winco. sponsor. Yeah. to be honest. We <laughs> we will drop it 29.2 <laughs> 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 for Winco. <laughs> they keep, they take care of their employees too. So shout out to all the employees who exactly, work at Trader right. Joe. Uh, I'm sorry, Winco. Winco. We love you too, Trader Joe's. But you know, Winco. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll take I, both I don't of you. Think, I, I don't think their shopping audience is really necessarily our listening audience. Who who do you think Trader Joe's would listen to right now? Jack who, Johnson. Jack yeah, Johnson? exactly. I was gonna say like some Dave Matthews throwback. God, yeah, Damn, I, you, I'm tape. trying to like kind of position us for a Trader Joe's thing. I was gonna say Mad Squabbles. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of Mad Squabbles, and before we were Segway speaking about alert. Denzel Porter, um, this is an 11 minute track that they did uh, for I believe it was Team Backpack called Bar Fight. Uh, have you guys ever heard their bar fight series where there's two MCs and they go back and forth and it's it's incredible. And what I like about this one versus the other bar fights that I've heard in the past, usually it's like I saw Token and this other dude go up and Token spit his stuff and he walk off stage and then the other dude comes up and spits his stuff and he walks off stage. These two's like, like like these two dudes like rehearse together. They're like filling each other's bars. You'll you'll hear it. If you guys want to listen right now? Yes. All right. Yeah, so let's go ahead and play this. We'll be back after that because uh you might need you might need to clean off your seat. It's the clean up crew. Looking Mad for that squabbles. Trader Joe's commercial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Winco. Shout out to Winco. Shout out to Cali. Fight. Heavily elevated. To the highest point, apply your voice. I rhyme with a fine supply of wiser choice. Divine, but it's time to multiply the coins. Mind is confined, it's hard to find the joy. The rise at the time, they trying to stop your boy. Try, but you can't avoid a block of voice. Heart too strong, it's time that I destroy. Uh. It's time to put that life on pause. I might go off. These rappers ain't got no heart. These niggas trying to sneak up in the game. 500 for a show. They reminded me of Lonzo Ball. What's a crawl to a baby step? What's a loss to an angry vet? It's obsolete. Mind too sharp as far as I can see. And they gon' stay mad as long as I can speak. You know that, really? I would never opt to preach. A drop a toxic speech like an awkward priest But it's obvious I can see I've been up next to rise but I'm not beneath My soul too delicate, flow too celibate Sad for the folks unknown to the elements I can never let them in, please Acting like it's elementary But really you can never end me, uh I've been trying to hide from the scriptures Been a hell of back but forgot to take pictures Dark skies getting mildly addictive Signs of a sickness, highly afflicted Time for the mischief, dive in the eyes of a misfit You should feel honored to witness Why they bother with this shit? Cause if you ain't built for the grind, my nigga You should probably quit this Niggas know I'm bound to crack the code That's why they always grill me at the shows There's a why they hating on the guys Probably wanna send us back to start But sorry, I'm just all across the board In layman terms, I came to change the game And endanger y'all for sure They would ever take me off my course Uh... I just be taking my time 
I'm never wasting my time, uh I pay these haters no mind, I give them a glimpse of the grind, huh I never tell them my plays, I'm so ahead of the game, uh I'm so ahead of my time, they already digging my grave, squabbles Here I go Get it done, quick Jamaican It look like I'm jogging when I run, shit is blatant Girl got a problem, ladies love this You already know what horizon, not the sunset Fiends come in abundance on the corner with fun They pushing that off white, the color of Chris Humphreys And I run with homies who make movies with the gun clips I be with your favorite rappers whenever I got the munchies You know I got a modified thumbstick In the game, but my element is higher You thin rice paper, I'm earth, wind, and fire A hearse and a choir is what you'll acquire for messing with I America strides on the stuff it denies us like freedom in life And that's why we ride And there ain't no better options Look, and they been saying it for years and they ain't show me And you always see me with the same homies I say you always see me with the same homies We be getting fired live like James Kobe They don't want a piece of me, this anchovies I be killing these mics, I am Sony And I feel the world's mine, I am Tony And I wreck sick, I am bony And I go like Al Capoco, all could go broke Then we bounce back like the Al Capoco See, I'm like any other man All I do is supply a demand, that's an Al Capone quote Out down south with a route to go to In the trap where they loading up more than Pro Tools fans Say I'm the best, I'm the go-to's go-to Now my head's so big, I'm always out the focus so whoa, fire. make some noise, yeah. yeah, make some noise, team back, back, let's get it, let's go, team backpack, make some noise with this one, party, y'all, let's get it, round two, check it, fight, look, when chicken's little, the sky is falling. I see you on a roll, but your tire's balling. Was lit, now your fire's calming. When I'm going broke, I bounce back like a higher small. Then you react like your life is on the line. Every night is calling. I might as well go hard in the paint like might as well. And it's real. Touch the pen and pad, it's like King Midas Braille. Damn, I win so much, I might make lighters fail. Homie, I know killers, you know types of whales. I'll shame you, fear. You see, world, I'm overhead with free willy bars. Can't tip these cars even if I slam on it really hard. The whole throttle, a role model who souls bottled and knows not to open too much doors. They gon' knock you. Now I said it was written, swear I live in that old novel. Told squabbles, no one's as nice as after that old vowel. So if them bitches say something, burn down that whole prop. Go spit sick, but in game fifth, don't let that cold stop you. Reality shows that show that ratchet living. Relationships in bad condition, they just practice fishing A bunch of snakes you see, they backs is missing Rusty minds have so much friction Figuring out fact and fiction Niggas with excuses, they just practice missing I take every shot that I could take Even my bad decisions, sometimes they just actually lessons I can't talk about my reign, cause I'm in Cali now And I'm stepping back to say, who got that Cali land? It's my turn, it's my turn. Look. There we go, there we go. There we go, make some noise, make some noise, let's get it. Don't take none of this shit personal, y'all. Look. Patience running low, I'm sick of standing still. My verbal antics made this man too skills. Now I'ma be real, I was never the freshest prince, but I can hand you wills. Of some of these rappers that I just happen to stab and kill. Most of these rappers ain't half as real as they posed to be, supposedly. We live in a world where the frost control the scene. I scold the soap opera, dispose of foes, mocking souls awkward. Beyond my souls, I watch you hold squander, better hide your tails. Niggas out here rocking male rappers, beyond the cell, styling pocketbooks and nail polish. These creatures dwell, vast procedures help keep the stealth. Let these Creatures swell, please somebody drag these queens to hell, yo. To y'all, it's just a mere dress up. I think we bump for these severe measures. Trying to stay popular, that's queer pressure. I peep we suffer these severe measures. I can't accommodate while in a conscious state with all these weird gestures. I plan to be immortalized and mortify you. Disorganize the course of mortal minds and horrify you. My inner optics are philosophic. I'll quickly spill a toxin and kill your profit. My logic is build a profit properly. I'm sorta kinda out. Land this where my mouth is candy. Rappers ain't really outstanding, they just outstanding Contemplating fortune at a pivotal cost Really trying to be signed and sealed but can't deliver the bars That type of shit'll make Stevie wonder Like what's the real reason they wanna see me under Maybe cause they know I got the power to cease the slumber Maybe cause I'm on the rise and bound to be above them But 
Cause you know people like to see you doing good But never better than them Quick to give you that bishop treatment With that devilish grin And yo, I resent the attempt to pretend It's SQ and the bar king So this death you won't get to prevent Squat perfect Might get some blood on these shirts, squabbles. Let's get it going, bro. Let's go. I, I want y'all to listen real carefully. Round three. Jack. Jack. Fight. Listen, I'm back with the bars, dismantle tracks without an accurate cause Lyrical tactics strong enough to do some damage to God Smack a rapper and have his vanity gone Answer your scarred, I'll gladly shatter your heart and take the battery charge As a matter of fact, I'll snap your neck in half in the spa Spontaneous with my vernacular, cracking your jaw The jagged edge to a dagger, I'll jab your abdomen I'm an adamant advocate for leaving whack rap with a loss Until I master the art, I'll spit these halves in the stars Leave you with the lack of a thought that you should rap anymore I'll approach your poser with plans to turn a man to a Course. Against this ill mind, I see who hops in the discourse. These haters baffle. If I ain't spitting, ain't no talking. I just let the stats show. I've been doing numbers like a raffle. I'm past those silly looking critics looking timid with they whack posts. Niggas frigid when I spit a fast flow. Like a crack addict on his last smoke. I'm that dope. Scolding my vocabulary. They want me to rap slow. So at a rap show, you get no pass or no damn hoe. Why you gotta be such a it's natural, it's coughing, that rapper's off and attack your coffin. Respect the marksman, a simple thought can detach your cartilage. Snap your carcass, casket is vastly garnished and wrapped in garments. I've been a monster, they've been imposters, you that important. Me and Port, I got this rapping shit. Village and catalyst, spitting the endless, the raps with limited accident. Truly adequate with the pad and pin. Just an adamant antonym, I've been artists who lacks the heart to just go and grab the wind. They say I lack substance, shut your wind experience ass up. Can't even write a rap and trying to pass judgment. Cats fronting, acting like they fly, but they ain't flap nothing. Bluffing. Gotta watch these niggas like the Last Supper I don't even need to get approval This as long as my gift is useful In the words in which I spit is truthful Yo, I let a hater speak only when I choose to Cause when I want your opinion, nigga, I give it to My jumper cables got jumpers able to jump on tables I'm turning favorites to chicken and waffles with too much maple As sweet as cane and I think it's safe to say Cause biblically speaking, I be killing brothers that think they able to contest I was blind in your mind Cause it ain't stable Some artists like ditzy bitches still waiting on labels I just say, okay, why? I guess these rappers must love it, ain't no Though my attraction for rapping is fatal I just ain't with that Not new to a track, you see the mute in his back With artificially flavor, check the nutrition facts When it's a rap, have so much crap You have to loosen your hat See, I done told you about that tooth in the back Cause you know I like to chew and see the juice From all the losers that rap So I don't have my bars tended I don't loosen the fact I move like Bruce, but the back I'm a moose with the racks I'm from where skaters get you robbed Throw up a deuce for Big Black You see, homies be trying to tell me What I should call next I just leave 200 feet, fuck what you call steps I just need two chicks that's freaking And I'm all set, I'm in the Bronx Connecting Queens, getting that draws deck Text me while I'm getting it, test me and you're shitting it Not even engineers could compress me Without getting hit, but I'm in the home With bangers, rep hard, I'm Brett Favre Overhead bars, got them dying, I went hard What's next, God? Hate the way we treat it, but wanna be In the skin, if they could, they would be Needles that sting, trying to freeload The loud with bad spirits and their evils within Still roasting the Reggie Bush like back When he was with Kim, why are you here? You know that I make lives disappear Squabbles couldn't buy you time They mention OCD the wrong way They hit the stage for six seconds And the crowd got their faces like it's a long day Who on the ride but the passengers hit the hardest That's what happened when you're so damn passionate To be flawless you a wannabe Take it from me, your shit is garbage You might as well come at me Cause you damn sure can fuck with locksmith and toxic I wish you would but you'll probably resort to lodges I'm sorry next time you could More clear when you mention eyes or not That's what happened when that action is raw This is not a tap on your jaw It's a tap on your, watch your mouth Yo, man, that was incredible. Dope. I think it's pretty dope. That was, that was. That's made what my we voice do. crack on some preview best and shit, so yeah. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was Mad Squabbles and Denzel Porter. Uh, that was when they did the um, the bar fights on uh, Team Backpack. Shout out to Team Backpack. Sponsor, sponsor, you sponsor. Know, Amari, Dev, you know. Um, yeah, we have shows coming up, though. We yeah, do. We have do. shows coming up. Yeah, we, we all do. have shows coming up. What do we have coming up this Friday? All right, this Friday at Crates. Records and gear on Central and just south of Dunlap, in, yeah. in Central North Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, in Central North, North Phoenix. Phoenix. In the heart. It's, it's sunny basically slope. Sunny Slope. It sunny is slope. actually Sunny Shout Slope. Shout out Sunny Slope. Yeah, um, 
we got Rocky Tyrate. Yes, yes, yes. We got who else? We got uh, actually Tater Crown. I just told him he can get on. Yo, that. Sh- yo, what, shout out to Tater Crown, man. You know, we we all kicked the little cipher thing going on over, over at uh, TJ Super Hype Radio Supers. Uh, you know, lyrical project. So that was dope. That, that was dope. actually a really good time. I was, I yeah. was, I was uh, pleasantly surprised by a lot of people you know, that I haven't really rapped with before, and I was like, wait a second. You know, there was, uh, and I forget his name, he was from the show 24 Block that was on Radio Super a while back, I don't know if he still is, but I did not know he could rap like that, and it's it's the white kid with like the goatee, like he had like I, a little... I think profa- so. pro- or, yeah, what is the... Uh... That might be it, that might, it's, his name starts with a P, his rap name. Is it Profound Poet, or am I thinking of someone else? That, that might, might be his name. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah he was nice too. The first podcast I ever did was 24th Block. But yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, he, he, he was, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm familiar, familiar with all him. getting off. Yeah, he, he was hit nice. Me up. He hit me up recently asking to, uh, he was, I, I think it was him, he hit me up, uh, wanted to like, do a track. And I you should do it. that. I yeah. told him to send it over. I have yet to receive something, which is what usually goes on when people are <laughs> yeah. the tracks. You should also try to talk him into, I don't have a good relationship with him, but I would like to see that dude do lyrical beatdown. Which is another show that's coming up, but but oh, let's talk about Friday boy. real quick. Yeah, yeah so yeah, so yeah, yeah. over at crates, over at crates. That's um, that's in Sunny Slope. It's gonna be dope. I, I am head, uh, doing the show, headlining, whatever. I don't like yep. how that sounds. Um, we have uh, we have Jalopy, Jalopy, Jalopy Bungus. We have Salute over here. Yes, and we sir. have Tay the Crown, and it's fact, gonna be pretty dope. And fact, fact one, three, DJ five. Fi- fact one three five, aka the Catch Up King. Um, he's gonna be in the building holding this down on the turntables. They used to say wheels of steel. On the wheels of steel. Oh, the wheels of steel. Zany in the morning. Um. <laughs> I need those kind of sound effects, like <laughs> boing. <laughs> See, that's gonna be an awesome show. Just to d- briefly describe crates, it's 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 um so basically it's like um it's old school in store show type of vibe to it. It itself is like a hybrid uh, vinyl store like record store uh, slash barber shop slash studio slash uh, like graph house and yeah. and it's really like it's really just it's special special and quintessentially hip hop it's like the consummate hip hop location and, and the, the part that's dopest about it is that it's right next to a little liquor store and it's BYOB if you're over 21 oh boy. so yeah you can buy your own beer bring it on over bring party it on with us. over last time I was drinking wine coolers wine and uh yeah, they were really delicious. I got them for fact as a joke, and then he wouldn't drink them because fact doesn't drink anything except for like what Jägermeister. you want to drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. he'll drink that or order you that in surplus, and then it's all bad. Um, yeah, so yeah, I got a show coming up there next month also. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So make sure y'all check out our show as a precursor to that show um, that Docs is doing. And uh, we also had the Marlin Craft show, right? We have the Marlin Craft show with yeah. uh, Marlin Craft. I don't know. A lot of people, actually, he's just barely starting to gain popularity out here. Uh, he's blowing up on the East Coast. He's blowing up pretty much all over the place except for Oh, Arizona. sure. We'd be like listening to Marlin Craft and all that stuff, say? Yeah. Uh, but out here, yeah, they're just getting acquainted to the music. It's going to be an awesome show, though. His buzz has been picking up um, exponentially, so that's going to be awesome. As it's also... Um, a hybrid show with the the lyrical beatdown. Yeah, so that's gonna be heavy. My man Mega Rain from Writers Guilds currently on tour on the East Coast right now. He's gonna be uh, holding it down as well. Um, Nick and I will be hosting, judging, doing all that yep. extravagant nonsense. And I was actually just added to. I want to talk about this because this has been popping up and uh, on my timeline, and people have been talking about it. It's this. Festival called the Full Moon Festival. I've yeah, this is I've been um, hearing really good things. I about had this. the opportunity to finally go to this on Friday with with a uh, girl, and it's phenomenal. I, you know me; I am harshly critical of things that are out here because, um, fuck it, I help trailblaze a lot of this shit. I find I hold it dear in the direction that it goes. This right here. Is a, a step up in the evolutionary, uh, an evolutionary movement of of Phoenix as a scene. It's called the Full Moon Festival. Multiple genres of dope local music, and it's so artistically genuine. And it was such an overwhelmingly positive and artistic experience. Um, awesome. I, I cannot stress how hard 
this festival was literally a festival when you put local and festival together it sounds like an oxymoron yeah i kid you not over like like thousands of people that had came in and went um in terms of the head count um it's oh uh, i'll tell you where it's gonna be at because i well they actually booked me for the uh the show on uh, November 4th, Saturday, November 4th. So this is a monthly joint they do? It's a monthly joint. They do it every full moon, hence Full Moon Festival. Oh, okay. um, it's yeah. over at the Unexpected Art Gallery, um, which, which is off of 734 West Polk Street. And it's basically a gigantic warehouse. They converted it into like an art gallery, and that's where they have the festival. Oh, um, you know, last time they had um, like Color 8. They had like, um, you know, producers like Dungeon Destroyer. Um, they had other individuals who are part of the scene who are really advancing, um, you know, just the craft for Phoenicians and things of that nature. And again, I can't stress how hard this is, man. So, um, round of applause. Shout, shout out to them. We have our own movements and stuff that we do, you know, in terms of like, uh, like hip hop house and cooling out. And it's our job as, uh, you know, cast that come that, that came before as like predecessors to, to link with our brethren who who are adding their their stake into what it means to be a part of this scene. So and who I, is I wanted I wanted like just as a like veteran cat, I want to stamp the shit out of this. Yeah. Like yeah. shout out to them. That, that means a lot. It means a lot to see that. So who is uh, the person like behind it? Like um my man Jonathan Luther. Okay. Yeah. So um Shout out to him for really having the balls to to do something of that magnitude. And I stress it. We have our own stuff. I, I stress it because it also transcends hip-hop, which in itself is hip-hop, right? So, um, y'all, make sure y'all check that out on the 4th. And in order, we have uh, the show over here, Crates Records. Excellent spot to check out. Uh, that is, like, one of the most hip-hop spots out here in Phoenix itself. Um, we have um, the, the fourth with the Full Moon Festival, followed by that, which is the uh, the Marlon Craft Martin Show, Craft, yep. which is what date? That is actually, uh, I want to say it's like the twenty third, sixteenth. <laughs> uh, it, wow, it could be, it could be there's so many of, shows. There's so many shows uh, yeah, going there's, on. There's here. there's a lot because we also have coming up towards the end of the month. We also have. Uh, we also have the uh, Carnage the Executioner show as oh, well. Oh, yeah, that's going to be crazy. So it is, uh, according to this German website that I'm on right now, see, 26th oh, wow. of Octubre. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so that was weird how that went to that. Okay, here okay, we go. So October 26th, that's a Thursday night uh, so at the Rebel Lounge. Rebel Lounge. And Doc Smith is yours. Uh, I got my show of Crates going down on November 14th, and the day before that, we got the Terminology show, I believe, also. With yeah, it was Slain out. and Terminology. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Slain and Terminology, exactly. That's what uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're rocking to that, back. too. Yeah, we're actually rocking that. A lot yeah, of exactly. myself and Docs. A lot of shows, there. man. A lot definitely, of shows. Definitely. You can't say that shit out here. And Seriously. on, uh, and if you're not able to be in uh, Phoenix for, uh, right, you said your show was on November 4th? Ah uh, yeah, November fourth. Yeah, I believe yeah. I. If you're in Tucson, I believe I'm going to be uh, down in Tucson with uh, Fantasy Beats doing uh, nice. doing a show down there. I don't have uh, too much info to offer right now, but I believe I'm going to be going down there. So if you can't make it to Phoenix for Rocky, I'm coming to Tucson. Come out and check that out. Yeah, make sure you check out his uh, you know his page on Orthodox and see um, yeah, to keep up with what he has going on there and my shit. Uh, Rocky Tower the Culture back on Facebook. Um, Nick, what do you have going on? Salute, what do you have going on, man? man like, I, you, you're doing a show on the 20th. You know what? I actually, oh, shoot. I, I'm i performing at the uh, at the Carnage the Executioner show with Bob Domestic. So it's going to be Nomad Hip Hop, Bob Domestic, Carnage the Executioner, which is actually, it's a it's an after party for the documentary about Carnage the Executioner That's at crazy. the film bar before. And then oh, the whole party right, moves I saw over. that. That's going to be yeah, huge. Yeah, those are always fun. Yeah. Dude. We did that with the idea one a couple years back, and it was crazy good. You remember um, I got you all that? <clears throat> say what? I got you all that uh, on the show. <laughs> on the Carnage one? Yeah, the Carnage no, this show. is a Why different... Really young no. people talk shit, so yeah. do us old people. We yeah, I, 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 this is this is like our fourth time, fifth time booking Carnage, but yeah. Um, and I think Chuck got the movie. I think the movie was the main thing and then the show. Uh, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. There, there's always There's always like... Things getting thrown in different directions when so, it comes to so shows. We're, we'll have but, all of this up. We'll have all yeah. this up, with, um, you know, for you, you guys to check out and whatnot. Um, support as many as you can. You know, we're, this I, I've been out here. I've been a part of this scene, regardless of my my, my national and international travels. All that doesn't mean shit in this reference uh, or in this regard. Like um, 
there is a point in time where we didn't have a lot of this. We didn't we didn't have a lot of options for the type of hip hop that you guys enjoy. Um, you know, we had like your mason jars, you had your rap stocks, you had your the sets. Um, you know, like you obviously got your blunt clubs here and there, um, like every Thursday and whatnot, and the big shows that they would do. But you know, those were all. I mean, minus like the one or two staples out of the one, the aforementioned uh, uh, events, we didn't really have that that many uh, showcases that were done by different movements and collectives and things of that nature. Um, and Nick, you're you're part of this. Uh, you're more knowledgeable than I am in this aspect. So I know you can definitely speak on this. Like this has grown. This it's has grown. grown. Insane by magnitude. Yeah, because it used to be like I'd be lucky if I got on like a show every once in a while, or if there was like one good show every couple months. You know what I mean? But lately, like 2014, 15, 16, 17, it's been a, it, it, not just a growing of the community and, and like better shows coming, but it's also been like a maturing of the entire community. And now we have this new face coming up in hip hop, like locally, like all the younger people, like Unorthodox and Jalopy Bungus and. And all those dudes, everybody Fitting right in, man. Yeah, man. It's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It's a real beautiful thing. So, we had yeah. to fight tooth, tooth and motherfucking nail to to make sure these type of things are provided. So to see like a lot of a lot of young cats really taking the taking the torch or really built making your own fucking torch and making this this scene shine even brighter is it's such a beautiful thing. So shout out to you know like new new festivals like uh, new events such as uh, Man, I gotta go to that festival. I have to go to that. Is that like an all ages thing or is it just um, like a I am don't do not quote me on that. Like uh, let me take a look here real quick. Probably not. Most definitely probably not. Okay. But yeah. I'm just um, trying to, no, to to it's definitely not. Yeah. You know. It's um, not like thirteen year old appropriate. I think my, no, my son no, it really. I don't think so. I think it's like eighteen and up. Okay, cool, um, cool, cool. But it's it's it, it is worth it. It's yeah. super worth taking it, taking the, the trek down there. I saw a lot of individuals who've been around since when we were, we were like the twenty twenty one year olds, and um and you know mixed in with the the crowd of people who are like twenty two, twenty three, and that's what this scene is. It's like slowly becoming. What we wanted it to be without like piggybacking off other sounds and things of that nature. Like this shit is just like rightfully ours, man. This yeah. entire Phoenician scene, and uh, we, like dare I say, we're riding neck and neck with, with Tucson at least very shortly because yeah. they're they're still doing their damn big down there. So shout out to the Tucson Tucson scene. Hell yeah! Y'all, y'all. And also remind me from uh, speaking about the younger scene. I forgot to mention. I also got a show on uh, October twenty first with okay. uh, Jalopy Bungus and. Uh, Twenty pounds, click. Nice. And, uh, nice. Yeah, that's uh, it's gonna be a free house show. So uh, yeah, be sure to be sure to get the info on that. I don't have it off top. That was a uh, that was a recent booking, but yeah, that's can, that's can going we down this time? week. So pe- so peep it. What's can, can we take a time to shout him out? Like uh, Jalopy Bungus or who? Uh, uh, Jalopy Bungus one time, man. Like uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we, we show video. him love every week. Yeah, no, I mean like specifically for that Rushmore video. I, Try not to be big on numbers. M- numbers do matter, man. Let's just, just keep it real. And this young brother, like, uh, what is it? Like, he's pushing like a like a combined total, yeah. like, like slightly under fifty. Like, Something like that. Like, I like think 20, his Facebook 20, 20, numbers twenty six thou, a few like maybe six seven thou last time uh, on uh, YouTube. He's he's getting up there, man. You know, like these these are important people. Those are thousands and thousands of. Of ears and eyes, and you know the number of likes and shares, and yeah, yeah, his his YouTube ridiculous. numbers are actually really dope because they're organic very, numbers. Very you know organic, what I mean? very organic, man. So yeah, shout out to another individual who's uh, making their own waves right now too. So you'll you'll catch him on um, you know on Friday over there at Crates, and it's just gonna be a wonderful event. And I'm telling you, I have veteran of this scene, and it's it's awesome to be able to wake up and say. That there's so many different avenues. You want to get some like some some lyricism. We got you covered. You want to get your happy trappy shit. They got you covered down the road. You want to get your more uh, top forty oriented music. They got you covered down the freeway. Like it's we really have something here. And as a transplant, who's Californians? Fuck! It's uh, beautiful to say that where I reside, um, you know this this scene, this scene is it's golden. It's golden right now, man. Proud to be, you know, a Phoenician artist. Besides everybody who's uh, pushing his way forward, man. Yeah, keep doing your thing. Um, enough sentiment shit, because that's not what I am about. Um, let's play some more music. Yo, anybody so, else? I talk too much, man. Salute. Yeah. You ain't said shit in a while. He's chilling. He wants to hear this loaded Lux shit. 
Let's hear this loaded. Is this, this the Funk Flex one from last week? Wait, yeah, this, this one came out fire. like over a week ago, though. It doesn't Was matter. It? It's still new. Yeah, it's, it's new enough. enough. Bless Time is relative. Play it. Bless yeah. there is. Radio Super. Healthy. You hear me? It's something God loves. You hear me? This is what you want to do? That's what I'm doing. Charlo, man. Huh? What's happening, handsome? We here. You know? <laughs> yeah, turn that up. Mm. I was in the areas. Just thought I'd swing by like a girl is curious. And boys in the hood pops up on you. That's furious. Fierce is when you find your inferiors is inferior with scariers. You're betting against the odds and you letting these niggas tell you you're better than what you are. I'm the bar measuring rod. This way we draw the line on your screen. Turning it out like some Metro sketching knobs. Odds. You young dummies is lunch money. Either champ think cash is clay or fun putty. I'm little buddy. Too bad you ain't got you a pot to piss. I'll bake them for this cake. Betty a crock of shit. Search you in a circle. Rule of virtue, vice of virtue. Man, this shit is personal. I saw fights turn into curfews. You commercial. You fuck up the meat and believe vegan. Cause the Green Brothers shall be back. You ninjas turtles. But Stefan used to be Urkel. Fuck it, make hip hop when they give you hurdles. Heard you. You bet not even slacks with your church shoes. This earth school. Taught my kin more about this whirlpool. Ooh, I know I'm better. How could you win this? Like having the last picture ever with Michael Jackson, but hating how your face look in it. And you want to grab it. I'm saying it. You just gonna have to put up with it. Understand it. Pay the bookies, be chasing bullies. Cause if our bad act ain't goody, just bake goodies. You play hooky. They still want that luxe with their gray hoodie. I'm like, that's water under a high bridge. Hey, I could boogie. Look where most of them the blind. These moments where I shine, I gotta show you what they hide. Just throw it in rewind. The poetry's refined. Going in fine. Every time you get a loaded line, a corona. Wanna get some lime? Look, it's only in your mind. This isn't clear. This isn't fair. King NY need Diddy shares. Biggie cheer. This nigga scared. I circle him in the square. Had your balls up, but get balled up. Cause it's fair. It appears that they was never my peers. It's a pair. Fruits of my labor that disappeared. I'm a bear. When it's grizzly, your city won't drip with tear. If you hear, well, I'm near. Caught with your engineer. Fuck it, buccaneer. Fortune keeper gets sold in freezes. Born achiever who wore Adidas and Jordan sneakers. Since he sported the Caesar, it's nothing new clear to warheads who got him. Like North Korea, let's keep it tall like Medea. Son, your short as a breather. Daddy sugar trick trainers. The world in these dick beaters. You ain't got to be mean to at least walk with demeanor. Gang ties, hot blood. Blood money can have you seized up, this kidnapping. I'm big action, they looking for me. You're plastic, he ain't the real thing, but he getting fried. Catfish, you know you can't keep this short, right? Snap flick when I blow up now, but can't cut it. You should call in cat, nigga, I'm jacked in. Pending, I break a beat up and bend it. Take a week, nigga, bend him, it. Take a week if he meant it. Baby, you got the image, patriotic offended. Player, she was taking the knee before it was trending. Casket flex, you never had this. The jab, zab, quick for this bag hit. Embarrassing, passion me, went for the mattress. Taxes trying to go for hell on the Troy Achilles niggas. I'm Brad. He's looking with a scully like he mowed the loner. Who banded with his brothers like a Jonas, Ammonius. I tear a nigga like ammonia. Got funky, your shooters ain't sent nothing but aroma on these corners. Shorty only do it cause it's cool. Fuck them all, he wanna listen to now is music that moves. We don't wanna hear that unity, fool. Guess them niggas that sold Harlem was trying to change the community too. I'm like, ooh, hard to ask him how he doing in school. He just rude. But I could dig it, you know, life is a jewel, but it's true. Learn from it, don't follow the same mistakes again in Satan's grip. Trip, trip, catch you off guard like an atheist. I break it. I knock Calvin right out his glasses. They gassed him. Found out the hard truth in your wall boots. Storm troop, fighting a strong case. Why the long face? Main brought up in a short stay on your court date. Damn, you're listening to a musician trying to tell his beautician a track ain't for horseplay. I'm a standout. I told her I'm a good catch. She got her hands out. I mean, what you niggas expect? You took the stand out. Fumbling, hit with the book. Crumbling, just beat. Can't take the rap now. You're mumbling, you're weak. Small frail, I wore shell. War's hell, no relief. Pain runs deep. Don't think I always jail. Can't jack with young and jack and how. Tweeting like a thug. A hundred rounds, we meet you at the club. You're in a gown, and fuck who you was. Uh, we got it now, I'm still clicking. Difference, I never traded on one member. Niggas better off catching Farrakhan at a Trump dinner. Where the thugs, killers collide, you guys non operative. You're not for this. In the populace, the total opposite. Stop the shit, two apocalypse, keep it positive. You're about to watch me raise up on you just like a Cosby kid. The problem is, you think you're too much. I put my heart in this hard denim, waist to the cuff. And I'ma walk in them all the way to your door. I do home visits, dog. Bury you in your own backyard. Pick a bone with them. Hold the wheel. Give 
you that holy feel, hitting like holy feel, mixed with some golden seal. Off a pint of Henny Fender, overdose of pills, riding dirty, unlicensed firearm with the open seal. I'm still lack dangerous. I'm from out of that hangar, different rap chamber. Do you know where you at, stranger, that talk dirty in stores? And yeah, I'll make a movie and do the score. I know with J to Z they had reasons to doubt, sure. But I just saw 22 twos when it's times two, gonna get your 444. Lord, now do the math on that. Don't imagine it, the fact is that I'm something different. Out the same habitat, I battle rap. And I drop records, do the cabbage patch. Get your cabbage patch, cut me in, however you dissect it. This ain't that put your faith in favors later, thank the neighbors. I came to bring them that thing that cracks the creator's data The great debater You're slow, at least a turtle know exactly Why Morris never lifted weights with Slater May have saved years I missed the bell then But know your principles could bring God damn it, we had to stop it after the Lisa Turtle shit Talk dude. to him <laughs> At least At least Go back to playing it Go back to playing it Yo, yo this motherfucker is yo, stupid You want me to back it up for that line real quick? Yes Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> It's never lifted weights with Slater, may have saved years. I missed the bell then, but know your principles, cause branching out. They don't teach you that in judicial school. The chi is deep. Sway seven, ninja jujitsu moves. The fish you view, strikes with your wife. Get in this whistle tune, bottom wisdom tooth. Pull up on ya, you get you, dip your shoes. Fuck a friend, pal of money. Mr. Scrooge, head to toe, they read the glow. Dorothy clicking shoes, wizard at these odds, my nigga. But they'll be missing you, I'm ready to go. Wanda was Jamie Foxx who did Ray. So know if you bringing me shade, how I play Around my way, if I'm on my way And you in my way, know if I don't get my way Ain't no way you get in the way Harlem, New York Listen, I just want anybody to take care of to come up here after this right yo, now. This yo, yo, man Real Harlem Yo, that's some Harlemite shit, man Oh, my God Go to Lux, Atlanta We play a lot of Harlem Yeah, we play the Harlem shit Yo, that that is what you call like that whole, if you could call that rap style something, I call it the puzzle rap, man. Because that sh- that jigsaw, that shit is a jigsaw. Because there's so many connecting lines and bars and just I love that triple shit. entendres. Like the entire thing was interconnected from a conceptual standpoint. It's that was disgusting. Some of y'all listen to that from like a superficial level, and we here at the cleanup crew honestly pity you for that because. That was that was genius, and it's it's annoyingly good. It's just annoyingly fucking good. Yo, and I always get I, I always get super jealous when I hear someone rap for like seven, eight minutes, and I'm like, yo, I could probably rap for like seven or eight minutes, but it's not going to be like that. And those are bars, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, I might have some little gems in there, but I'm not going to be like judicial and invisible. And I'm like, what the? I heard fuck? that shit. I, I wrote a sixty, and I was like, man, this is bullshit. It's going that shit up yeah, in it. That's the type of stuff like, yo, my Dragon Ball Z heads, I'm a nerd out right right quick. Yo, people watching the new new show, it's like you think you're Goku and like you're transforming, you're going Super Saiyan, God Blue or whatever the fuck. And like you're kicking people off of the out the martial arts ring and then like Jiren comes and then like he just knocks you out with like them just cool combos and it's like deflecting everything. And like the shit that you've been using throughout the entire series, it means nothing. That's like literally what he did to like ninety nine percent of you people. Pretty much. Yeah, but n- nobody's gonna break my stride. I don't care. Let him rap good. You know what? There's always been really dope next level rappers, but they shouldn't discourage rappers from rapping. You know what I'm saying? No, it shouldn't. Motivate. That should make you want to uh, yeah. rap better. Yeah. This yeah. is competition. That's yes. what I mean. This is competition. Yeah. Drop a bomb. Thank you, answer the hyperbolic chamber, Bruh, <laughs> How do you think like any of these MCs got got to the the, the skill set that they were at exactly. by just like bitching up and walking away? This is a gladiatorial sport. Yo, I think Black Thought came out the womb like rapping. Like <laughs> he continuously gets like, like, better. Like, so you know, like, there was somebody better than Black Thought. Quest loves falling out with a drum set like. There, like, there uh, was somebody better uh. than Quest, and it was like, you know what? I'm going to hone this craft. I'm going to put my heart and soul into this. And whether or not I compare it to another individual or compare it to myself, it's going to shine appropriately. And this is a gladiatorial sport. You might not necessarily walk out of this with a lost life, but you can lose your life because this is an orthodox path. Shout out to an orthodox hey. MC. Hey. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, this this is something that you risk your life doing, and as such, 
you need to treat this like this walking into the to the ring of yours may be the last time you walk into it. You may get Russell Crowe at the end of this bitch. You want to be <laughs> Russell Crowe, or do you want to be like the um, uh, what, what is the African brother's name? But not yet, because you know. I haven't seen that in I don't years, know. dude. I'm a movie head. May may have gone over the top. This is a gladiatory sport. You risk your life for this shit. You have to be the best. Shout out to Low Deluxe. That was disgusting. Yo, what's crazy yeah. is is like, not many people realize this, but like public speaking is like the worst fear for so many people. People would rather die than speak in front of a crowd. And to oh, get yeah, in, sure. like, just to be like, yo, and then bust some creative ass shit, I like wildly, like just my social social introverted side is a dominant factor in my life and it used to be almost crippling you know cause being you know speaking in front of people and things of that nature like if you love it you gotta you gotta do it so i commend those who take the time to even go on stage you know if you go to those shows and somebody's not as good as you think they should be it takes balls it yeah. takes balls to go up there and attempt to sing when you're judging on a on a, on a different much higher harsher scale Oh my God, singing! No, singing! Yeah. I I can't do that. I mean, I can on wax, like attempt. on record. <laughs> you won't catch me with a mic live on stage singing anything. It, it takes a lot to do that. It takes yeah. a lot to stand in front of five people. It takes a lot to stand in front of five thousand people. Yeah, fifty thousand people. It's that is no joke. You have to really be one with one with self to be able to do that. Yeah, and you're sharing. Or at least black out. You're sharing something that you created inside of your brain in your heart. You know what I'm saying? Like the realest shit. Like you're like I'm going to create this and I'm not just going to create it for me I'm going to create it for everyone and then you have to go and perform your creation it's like the ultimate like book test you're, yeah, you, you know what I mean like it's cool you yeah, what you have. yeah. that's why most people are afraid of public speaking because it's like if you're not a artist or a, you know a creative it's like well, what, the, what the fuck do you say you yeah. know what I mean whereas like if you're an artist you gotta be confident in it like that's why I never really struggled with like stage fright like that much personally from like a rap perspective because I already kind of established in my yeah. own mind and my own circle that like what I had was dope, you know what I mean? So when I got on stage, it would be, you know, it's easier. I see the dudes that ain't, that kind of what Rocky was saying, I see the dudes that, you know, aren't that nice yeah. that are up on stage, and I'm like... They're way too confident. Taste. Yeah. Well, there's the taste taste a lot. Is, <laughs> yeah. But for me, it's one thing, it's like, you really dope when you're going up on stage, that, you know what I mean, that takes, that don't take as much as being whacking out and going on stage, yeah. you know what Well, I mean? this you is the thing, this is the thing, if someone's dope, like, look at dudes like Kurt Cobain, who was terrified of the audience. Kurt Cobain literally would like puke before shows, but he was the most brilliant artist. When you see him on like all these like Nirvana Unplugged, for example, yeah, you sit there and he said he was so uncomfortable and like all this shit, but yet he'd get out there and he would share his words and it would touch everybody. So like if someone's dope, they could be socially awkward as fuck and they can be up on stage scared as shit. But as long as they're delivering on what they're supposed to be saying, that shit is dope as fuck. Yeah, I feel like with me, like it, it completely, it's like an off on switch. You know, like yeah. I'm not necessarily the, the most personable individual. My name is Rocky Tirade. Um, the jokes aside, but you know, it, if you love something that, that much, it, it it captures you subconsciously, spiritually, and you're just gonna go out and do it. I, I personally fa- found it to be therapeutic in its own aspects because you couldn't really get me to stand in front of people before. Um, it was it was almost frightening, not like like from a scared standpoint, but from this feeling of exposure and yeah. not really wanting to engage with people. Um, so, you know, shout out to people who do that, especially those who aren't so sure of the skills they possess, whether be it good or bad. So, you know, it takes a lot. Man. Yeah. I think I cut off uh, Docs. What do you want to say? Uh, no, I was just saying it was just interesting about how you're saying Kurt Cobain was assuming he realized, you know, when he saw that music was touching all these people, I'm sure he was yeah. confident in the art itself, so that's interesting to me that you can yeah. still be so... Yeah, you know. there's a lot of people that literally years, they, they've been performing for years, and they still say that their stage fright is debilitating and crippling and all this stuff, and they get up on stage. That, that's why when you see them at like award shows and shit, people go up there and they're like super awkward because... Yes, of course. They're they not perform. in their environment. Yeah, it's there's like, a huge difference between that. Yeah, I tried. Um, I tried public speaking. You know, um, I would. I, I spoke. I spoke at uh, Phoenix College before, um, and there's a huge. I remember like getting ready to to go in front of individuals, and it was about something that I was well versed in. Had nothing to do with music. That was 
absolutely frightening <laughs> you know it, you're not you're not doing what you love per se i mean obviously i like engaging with individuals but this this is not your creative you this is you know so this is your you you this it's is like your the- you this is the moment this is the acapella mo- monologue and everybody is waiting for that specific point they're breaking down your mannerisms your body language and all that so yeah yeah I forgot. I don't even know how we got on this subject. Yeah, it's the beat. I think the beat is like one of those heartfelt, like, "Hey guys." So Inspired. on that note, let's let let's do something. Let's let's turn up with Triz a little bit. Like, get some energy back. Triz, then, yeah, yeah, California. Yeah, yeah. You know, very I, dope I, shit. I uh, did a show uh, with him. Shout out to my man Noah James over at Common Ground. Yeah, the energy was ridiculous. That's speaking so dope. of speaking of stage performances and things of that nature. So go ahead and kick that trip one time, man. It's just dope. My mom used to send me to school with her kitchen knives. <laughs> what you gonna do when they pull up to that light? On sight. Los Scandalous. Home of the random hits. Fast money ain't gonna last money till you handle it. West bitch, I'm destined to keep the candle lit. California bread don't butter me with that family shit. I was born by myself on my own. Lost a couple homies to drama cause they baloney. They say it's love, but niggas have yet to show me. I'm the only one to get it and make it out like I'm stony. I'm so low key and quiet cause I blow trees. Plotting on the mission with my niggas and some OGs. Pushing down Rose Crane. Compton on the map again. Hood in my blood, no thug, but I'm acting. I try to keep it cool, but all I know is get it cracking. I was bullied for a little bit, but moms ain't gon' have that. Send me off to school, kitchen knives in my backpack. Now bag backer get stabbed with this blackjack. Had a homie snap that and put it up on Snapchat. Nigga, we All he listen to is rap, all he talk about is crap Nigga, it don't matter what I'm doing cause he slap If they ask about the endless, say I put it on the map I be bragging about the verbs like they brag about the trap If any nigga diss me, he delusional and whack Or he hating cause I'm making all his money off the rap I be kicking it alone, playing Ouija with a batch Oops, I mean bitch, man, whatever, I be smacked Beefing is a joke unless a nigga came strapped I be tweeting my location, you can pull up where I'm at I'm probably up at GameStop cashing out a rack Don't get it twisted, I'm a nerd, but shit, I'm with it if it crack I be talking slick, all you niggas do is rap And standing videos with niggas looking gay Pointing gas that you never gonna shoot If you had a chance to act Fucking punks, bring a punk if you ready for a scrap Nigga, we Still drinking water on y'all niggas, man. With perfect pitch, I'm singing free my niggas. Polished and purposeful, he's producing pristine pictures. Baby, give me plenty the trees. We got keys, that's paper, so hold the pennies. I'm pressed and like pests. I'm in every nook and cranny, your pantry with some patience, your panties. I got patience, it's prevalent in the previous plannings. I've been on my P's and Q's. Fuck, is this a quiz? Peep this nigga passion, I'm not picking him to quit. Watching paint ain't in quaint. All that presence in his pen, he be pearling. All that wisdom, all that pressure be to sin. And pearlescent silver lining through the questions I've been quilting together. Niggas quiver in the cold, are you equipped for the weather? When it's polar and it's piercing through your sweater to your chest. How you persevere and press on through the quest? I've been on my P's and Q's. Can't you see I do not play? And I'm packing full of quotes, pray you perceive it in the way that I intended. I ain't preaching and I'm never that pretentious. Not pretending, quasi modo, how my back is. I've been bending, I've been 
lifting all the pounds. Break it down, pass it round. Politicking with my peoples, then my partner, then my round. Quality is what we seek. I'm not playing till we peak. Quintessential to survival is the cunning to compete. You pick defeat. If your efforts will only ever be passive aggressive, be my pleasure to let it fly like a sassy propellers and compel all your people to say a prayer in your passing and fuck the gas. And I'm too persistent in what could they tell us? Huh? I've been on my P's and Q's. Quantum leaps ahead of my peers, they not even in my peripheral. Pray I keep it proper, cause they play it so political. The petty is so pitiful. Niggas be the pedigree, I'm of a higher pedigree. I'm peddling this premiership, appreciate the pleasantries. But it's quiet for y'all niggas. I mean, you know I've been on point with it. Ain't even gotta smoke a joint, I'm getting high off the field. Y'all just trying to make some coins with it. Educate my loins, we've been gifted like I pearled a couple points at us on my P's and Q's. Quarantine the phrase, you can comprehend it better. Bring phonetics into play, I'm no pharaoh. Message never mystical. Breath of antihistamine, I'm trying to heal the physical. Requiring a pivotal stance. But my man's nigga, no, I'm not dolo. Provide you with the proof, it's never quid pro quo, though. It's free nation, please, no photos. Yeah. Power to the people, middle fingers to the popo. I got some money, I'ma blow it all today They say, Michael, don't throw it all away. And my reply was, there's more on the way. When I said it, I was walking in the rain. I did a show in Chicago on the first. Now I'm back in L.A. like Chicago in first. No son, but I fathered this verse. It's all I'm probably worth. And I'm from sunny CA to rain on all of this earth. Rainy terrain. Receive the God-sent messages. We know the answer, but dance around what the question is. What is it? It's back to who's on first It's my dog, it's his tail, it's the chase It's the search, it's the ignorance That causes all the bliss in my surroundings Cause dealing with realities like drawing out your boundaries And I refuse to be referred as less than a creative So catch me when I'm live in town as I've been demonstrating So that I can find my greatness in the waking of my absence And absolutely kill it when they dealing out these bad hands and play a play is what a player's dealt And carries baggage like conveyor belts And never fucking saves his wealth Got some money, I'ma blow it all today. They say, Michael, don't throw it all away. And my reply was, there's more on the way. When I said it, I was walking in the rain. I write to alchemists, cause others don't inspire me. I got my people in, they got my back entirely. I kill with our science on the side of me. By myself, I lay him out and iron out the irony. What a long, winding road it's been. With no sign of slowing up around its turns and bends. How many have friends that ain't foes within? Dirty laundry in the wash, but them clothes don't spin. I mean, really, I kill two birds with one bullet. The targets when I line it up, the triggers when I pull it out the gate. A bit late, but the champ is back. I need a third hand to wear my rings and whole plaques. I hit the track like the runner's new. Hands high like a stick up, killer Michael running jewels. It's true, the eye slanted, my fam rock the planet. Don't take fans for granted like the money is due. Uh, I got some money, I'ma blow it all today. They say, Michael, don't throw it all away. And my reply was, there's more on the way. When I said it, I was walking in the rain. I got some money, I'ma blow it all today. They say, Michael, don't throw it all away. And my reply was, there's more on the way. When I said it, I was walking in the rain. Radio Super. Don't spark the match, then you arch your back. 
Heat rock stars, deep shock, heart attacks. Make amends, take it in like a starving pup. When a dealer waves his hand, the card is plucked. Double down on the ace and eight. Don't tempt fate, put the crown on the stage and wait. It's in place for the luminous. You insist, I'm feeling numinous. Who is this? You and this that makes two of us. Free will, remember the speed kills. I come for the cheap thrills. Stay for the refills. The way to the beat build and I conquer it too. One more 12 for me, but where the monsters are due. Where the mag light flashlight partially charged. And the scar I caught facing the larceny charge. Terror in the sky gets all being gone when it's over. Ask them, is it always this? Oh. At the end of the day, when my sun sets west and my clock slows down to a crawl, ain't no battery charger, gotta recharge it. That day, you won't have to miss that call. Shame that the so called experts look like fools when the market is passing the by. Meanwhile, all the believers are bored and egregious sacks under the macro sky. Go! Go! I am Chance Bordreau in the fifth ward. I implore you can see the light like French doors get sent for. Equal opportunity, impunity is soon to be a melee. I never let you ruin more flushes that the labels want to bleed me dry. Pretty penny wouldn't nickel in a measly dime. A politician pays a psychic to read his mind. Bet it's dirty in three six lines. Tell what you trade capital for a bed of the power. Or your soul for that 40 plus billable hours. You can make that a bike week with a camcorder. World star. Toss the baby with the bath water. Thread is just incredulous. Get ready, set. Thought I had plenty left. Just wasn't ready yet. Uh, keep slow. You know how to greed go. Cause it's done. Where we go, we don't need At the end of the day, when my sun sets west and my clock slows down to a crawl. Ain't no battery charger. Gotta recharge it. That day, you won't have to miss that call. Shame that the so-called experts look like fools when the market is passing them by. Meanwhile, all the believers are born that agree to sacks under the macro sky. Go. Big faces on projectors, the crowd had a bow for respect like dial out and dial to protect us, astounded with plexus, the crowd that enshrouds his intention, somehow is endowed with protection. YouTube's like a yellow brick road. Better tip so hella precious info. Ignorant brothers of dreams. Think you run with the team. A string this puppet, just a monkey's of wings. Off the shelf, you fly, propelled to through heights, cause of wax. Icarus fell from the sky, such a facts. Light embrace it. Time it changes. No hide in place, but karma's primal nature. Corporate intends to destroy you. Life's like chess and pawns are inherently royal. So miss the sky with your menstrual rhymes. Under the macro sky, there's bigger fish to fry. Let's go. Another day when my sunset's west and my clock slows down to a crawl. Ain't no battery charger, battery charger. That day, you won't have to miss that call. Shame that the so called experts look like fools when the market is passing them by. Meanwhile, all the believers are bored and agree to sacks under the macro sky. Go! Go! Macro sky. Go! That was uh, myself and Mega Ran, really Mega Ran and myself, because that's off his album Random called Macro Sky. Um, that I production is crazy on that song, yeah, dude. Man. The, the, the normal way, is it how we spelled random on that? People check it out. R R N D M. Thank you. Go. Thank you. Thank yes. You. Vicariously, I'm pretty sure you would think. But yeah, um, so go check that out, man. I was off the random album R N D M by my man Mega Ran featured myself. It's called Macro Sky. There's obviously some individuals uh, that we played earlier. Well, one individual that we played earlier that is not a uh, new ind- new artist in the foray that's uh, evidence. I really like that record. That Still video is pretty it, cool. It, yeah. So, video is cool too. We played uh, we played Mick, right? Mick yeah, played a little Mick James. Yep. Yeah, so. Um, we're, we're almost done with another week here at the Cleanup Crew. Uh, shout out to Radio Super. Um, you know, shout out to iHeart. Shout out to Spreaker. Um, and everybody tuning in tonight and uh, checking us out on the podcast and whatever later date you're listening to. Do not text and drive, you dick. Um, so, what you could do this Friday is check us out. Thank you. I procrastinate and come to tell you. <laughs> Getting to the points. Yeah, so uh, this Friday, crates. Where is this at, Nick? It's at Central, and it's just south of Dunlap. It's it's one light south of Dunlap. I don't know the name of the street exactly, but it's it's right there. It's right next to a little liquor store. 
It's like a little convenience mart, and you can't Look miss that it. Up while I talk about it. Yeah, where else yeah, can they yeah. find okay. a location okay. too? So, if they can't, if they're not listening to this, or you they know what? Go back. I'll, I'll give them the official address so they can punch it into a GPS. Please do. All right, and I'm going to say it nice and slow. At the cleanup crew, crew.com, you can also find us. Yeah, yes, so it's all right. Grab out your pencils and pans. Here we go. Your typing thumbs. 8841 North Central Avenue. 8841 North 7th Avenue. Avenue. Yes, Central Avenue. Central oh, Avenue. Central. <laughs> no. 8841. All start right. over. Start over. <laughs> okay. 8841 North Central Avenue. Central Avenue. 88. 41 North Central Avenue. Central Avenue. Phoenix, Arizona. I was, was, was going to pass it on. It was like the, the volleyball. Central, Central. Promotion. Central. Oh, I'm ad libbing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so. so they got vinyl there. You want to get your hair cut. Show up a few minutes early. Get your hair cut. Look fresh for the for the crowd. Um, We got Rocky Tirade. Yeah. Jalopy Bungus. Yeah. Salute. Yeah. Tata Crown. Yep. And Fact 135. Killing yep. it. And so, myself. So, again, this is an incredible location to, to witness a show at. It is basically a hip hop record shop slash barber shop, so you know the the, the environment is going to be live. <laughs> it, it's it's really an incredible hybrid of two different types of uh, businesses and whatnot, and it's also a, a studio. It is a graph house. It is everything that you would picture hip hop to be. It, it is an incredible location. I need y'all to be out there this Friday over at Crates at eight eight four one North Central Avenue. Boom. In Phoenix, Arizona. Drop the bomb on oh, you, Bumba Clot. <laughs> I like totally struggled hitting that button. <laughs> no, I, I feel like it, we're waiting for it to hit the ground. Maybe it was like a missile. Or something. <laughs> yeah, it was like <laughs> maybe right. Trump finally oh. pushed him over the edge. Eight eight four one North Central Avenue. Drop the bomb. Eight eight four one North Central Avenue. One more time. Encore. Eight eight four one North Central Avenue. Crates this blah, Friday. Blah, 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 blah. October twentieth. Rocky Tyrade. Salute. Uh, um, Jalopy Bungus. Um, Tater Crown, uh, back, back, back 135. Yeah. I was trying to go Nick like Norris. in order yeah, when I saw on the flyer. Nick Norris. Blah, blah, I'm just going to be blah. there. I'm going to be there drinking uh, wine not coolers. Wine, coolers. wine coolers this yeah. time. Yeah. I'm going to drink something way tougher. Bring yeah. your asses Virgin over there. Pilates. It's a $5 cover. <laughs> There's no reason why you, why you shouldn't be out there. Everybody is broke. It's 2017. He's destroying our economy. Come out and have fun. Enjoy a wonderful Friday evening with some people who would love to have your company. 8841 North Central Avenue. Crates Records. It's going to be dope. We'll see you there. You don't have Until a friend, then. bring a drink. If you, exactly. Bring your friend Mickey. And it's all ages, too. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I you probably yourself. shouldn't encourage that. Yeah, no. Bring because, yeah, no. You know what? I just realized there's like a conflict of interest with this whole. Um, it's it's, yeah, it's no, a, all right. We'll just you know, bring a friend, yeah. bring a drink. Yeah, bring a kid. One of the we, three. Or we we will three. make sure that they are able. They will get, they will we get, didn't they will specify get a band. the drink, Nick. We didn't specify. We the drink. We should just move past the drink. Yeah, let's just not talk about all. So this. they don't get shut down. Pesky little <laughs> details. Um, yeah, 8841 detail. North Central Avenue uh, crates. We'll see you on Friday. You can check us out on cleanupradio.com. You can yes. check Rocky Sarade on the culture is back.com or facebook.com slash the culture is back. Um, R O Q Y T Y R A I D and every social media. I'm going to pass it off to the Orthodox Docs MC. Yeah, check me out on it's the unorthodox. Check me out on all social media. Unorthodox. U N O R T H O D O C K S. Get the spelling correct, but you can always just find me through the through the cleanup crew radio page. You know what I'm saying? And I'll pass it off to salute. Man, you can go ahead and find me Twitter salute or free society. Go to free society underscore forty two. Instagram free society underscore salute and Facebook absolute hundred. I love this show. This is the only place I can go and just like lose PR training. <laughs> give a shit. Nick. Yeah, just Google Nomad Hip Hop. You'll find all type of shit. That that's really just Google it. Just that's all. Seriously. Don't all let right. let's let's not worry about all the handles and all that stuff. Simplify. Yeah, yeah. Go, Google it. Google it. Google it. Just Google yes. it. It's a so wonderful show. We could be so unprofessional here. You can find him first. You can find his first page so you know we're legit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a wonderful week. Um well go ahead, Nick, you, you lead it off, man. Yeah, man. Uh, until next week, every single week, Monday, 8 to 10 p.m. on Radio Super, on Spreka, on iHeartRadio. I'm Nick Norris. This is Rocky Tower Raid. Salute. And the culture is back, you motherfucker. We'll see you next Monday. Radio Super.